Good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday. We on Tuesday today? Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, guys. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Mr. West. Good morning, Dark Lots. Good morning, Harmer. Good morning. Blood, good morning. Rocks, good morning. Pool, hello. Pool, good morning. Spend so much time breeding. Is it bringing chaos or are they chows? <laughs> to get the special ones, I don't even remember what they did, but I remember I wanted all the rarest ones. It is pillow time. I'm very comfy, very cozy. We gotta fight the back pain somehow. <laughs> I choose to fight it with paracetamol and pillows. The double P, the PP. <laughs> Good morning, Zach. Good morning. I'm very excited for Sonic Adventures 2 as well. <gasps> Edley! Hi. Three lucky sevens today. At 21! And you're old enough to drink an American ale. Extra lucky. Edley, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for 21 months. And happy Tuesday. And happy Tuesday, Edley. Nice and peepee. Exactly, looks exactly. So much paracetamol. So much pillow. Good morning, CD. Good morning, Hippo. Good morning, Alan. More than one chow. Oh, it's a chows. Like a. Okay, I see. I'm with you. I'm with you, Paul. A singular chow and a plural chows. The Sonic franchise is a sad story of a young hedgehog being missed as a Sonic. Oh dear, Dad! Talking about reason. threes. Look at it's that. It's been downhill from here on. Just kidding. I'm almost fifty, but Badger time makes the right me feel right side of fifty at the three. moment, Dad. You're the right side of fifty for now. Dad, thank you so much for thirty months. Thank you, thank you. Look, we're all threes today. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, and thank you so much for tier three. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Three thank you for tier three and for 30 months. You make me feel young as well. I'm 76 years old. Thank you on a Sonic Safari. Got the watch. Rick said I look like a dad today. I like to think I look like a dad every day, but... Day more than more than normal. The wrong side of seventy, but the right side of eighty. So you know you can't be too picky. How are my bowels? I I am I am very constipated at the moment. I'm super constipated. I don't know why. I don't know what I've eaten. Um, so I had some smoked cheese for lunch. You know, because <laughs> the smoked cheese usually gives me the shit. So I'm hoping that um. Oh yeah, it might get things moving a little bit. Captain Dad or Tail. I'm your dad. <laughs> See, that's why I want to fuck all your mums. Because I'm actually... <laughs> I was secretly your dad all along. We are... Hi! Hello. I don't have any snacks for you. Oh dear, I clicked into Sonic. Here, so you're like more on camera, or you have to sit behind chat? Yeah, you have to sit behind chat. All right then. All right, see you later. Can you get in your bed? No, she doesn't want to sit with us. She doesn't want to sit with us. We're not calling cool enough, guys. It was uh, some Bavarian smoked cheese that I had with some bacon for lunch. May Sonic bless you all. Remember, guys, this is a very holy day. It's Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, the day of Sonic. Okay. Got to remember to be respectful to Sonic. Pray to Sonic. I am most of all remember that Sonic is our one and only true lord. <laughs> Good morning, Urban. 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 I won the four one one. And how was your holiday? Are you still in? Are you, you still? You're not still on holiday yet, are you? You've been back. So you said you were in Paris last week. It doesn't feel like last week now. Time goes so quickly. Chili Dog Tuesday. Oh, you get Windy Wednesday. I get the shits, Chad. Good morning, I would not even... Yeah, gotta remember to always go fast, lads, okay? <laughs> remember the one true word of our Sonic, our Lord and Savior Sonic, is to go fast. And in that spirit, we can quickly get into the... Oh, we're at Charles de Gaulle right now, waiting for our flight home. Oh... 
I will say of them. Did you prefer France or did you prefer England? And tell me why you thought England was better. Charles? I think it's, uh, isn't it Charles, 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 Charles de Gaulle? Um, Charles's dad? Charles? Yeah, yeah. Stop it. Not there. Because <laughs> of course it's not. It should be. Why is it not there? I love it when things just work. Let hey! Let me show vouchers. you my real power. Let me show you my real power. So loud. Yeah. Oh. Might have to turn it down loud. It's a bit loud, isn't it? It's a bit loud! <laughs> Sorry. Hang on. I'm having to turn it down. Oh, the only thing I liked better about Paris was Disneyland. I I respect that. I respect that Disneyland. <laughs> it's better than anything. Anything you'll find in the UK. That's very true. Yeah. I don't like that Sonic assumes you've got friends to play co-op with. I'm just gonna restart it because I don't think it's detected that I'm playing with controller. Sonic is a rad dude who isn't afraid of Max. Oh. Sorry, do you actually want me to turn it to up to 100? It's running at 15 right now and it's still that loud. Uh. Uh. Game The fan look makes it look like I'm running. It gives me speed, does it? Oh, it to me the fan irritates me because it blows my hair into my face. Okay, try number two. Sonic. And it files. Oh, oh files. Looks like the lady that talks to me. Good morning, yummy. Story select. Oh, <gasps> you shitting me, guys! Oh, I know, I, kn I know, I know. We have to play as our Lord and Savior Sonic. But God, do I ever want to play as Shadow? It's still a bit loud. It's really on fifteen. Um, we're taking it all the way down to ten. Start hero with the iconic first level. That's what I was thinking. We go with hero first and we move our way into dark. One of those three. <laughs> oh wow. I don't know. I think we might go hero first. Dark is just so sexy. It's got it's got shadow and it's got big booba lady. Or big booba hedgehog should I say. I know we've got to start here. I know I wanna go dark, I know I do, but like I feel like Oh, sorry, it's a big booba bat. <laughs> How does she look like a bat? Hey, Ken, good morning. Bat. Yeah, we'll go, we'll start off with Hero, and then we'll, um... This is a holy stream, lads. This is holy. Can't be playing a safe, can we? We have you on radar. Report cargo status of captured hedgehog aboard. Over. Oh, I can imagine she's a big fan on the Everyone knows Bats is sexy. And and Batman is over pretty on. hot. He's taken out everyone it's aboard. True. And what's wrong? What is the world? world? Over. Freeze! What do you think you're doing? Get that hedgehog! Talk about low budget flights. No food or movies. I'm out of here. I like running better. I like 
running better. Oh my god, no. We're not gonna start snowboarding, are we? Sorry, you can't just steal some of someone's yeah! plane and start using it as snowboard. I found out some family history using my grandmother. Oh, it involves a sordid affair. Apparently there's a rich kid that married with my great granddaughter. Oh god. I need to know about the sordid affair! Oh lord. Oh gosh. I'm so sorry. I'm quite- Is this San Francisco? This looks like what I'd imagine San Francisco to look like. Why would I break? Oh, I see. Not really in the spirit of gotta go fast, but... Hang on, I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it, Rain Man. <laughs> I'm currently grinding my way through San Francisco at the moment. Woo! Nice! So much for Hero. <laughs> I, uh, I picked the Hero path, but I'm causing as much uh, insurance. Insurance fraud! That's what we're doing today! Oh, sorry. Oh. Everyone's got great insurance, so let me have to claim that. That's fine. Okay, rich kid that married my great granddaughter is a dairy farmer. Oh, your mum fights like a dairy farmer. But apparently her sister was also attracted to step in her. <gasps> the kid who was rich by family couldn't do anything to so pay for the dairy farm expenses. Was there any love child? Was there any love child? Can I pick you up? I do like how it's not Team Sonic, it's Sonic Team. Can I just... Oh, I can. Just snowboard like a dairy farmer. Can I... Well, you know, I feel like since the purpose is to go fast... Oh, oh it's so 90s! Fucking skate games being everywhere. With Sonic, you're going a bit slow for... CRIME! Oh dear! Yeah, are they uh, like a certain brand of shoe? Is Sonic got a certain brand of shoe that he purchases? Apparently I couldn't murder people in those cars. Is everyone who's from San Francisco sleeping? They want to escape from San Francisco. Oh! No, grind! Sonic, grind! Grind like it's Saturday night at the club! <laughs> oh, Sonic. Sonic! Turn! This is a very godly behavior. Oh! Yeah. Hello. Crocs actually wore Crocs. I always thought that Crocs were made from Crocs. You know, like. Darth, I will see you. I'll see you later. You have a wonderful day at work. That was that was on purpose. That was on purpose. That was perfect. Yeah, it's like, you know, when uh, when Jesus got himself killed just to rise from the dead so that, you know, the people would believe and shit. That's exactly just that. Exactly what you witnessed. 
Shit, I didn't realize I was supposed to be running. If Sonic game, of course I'm supposed to be. Why has that truck just got gun on the front of it? We are. I, we must be in America. Grand total of eight yes. rings. Eight golden rings. Yay! Woo. Eight out of four twenty-nine. Yeah, Rank E. It. E for excellent. Truck, dri truck driver surely isn't compensating for anything with his two stories. <laughs> this game oh my god! Fantasy online. Is that supposed to be like a Final Fantasy? To show up, eh? okay. Bring it you on. see it in the background? Has been located. Copy that. Fantasy star. I want to look at all of these advertisements. I know. I know we're supposed to be fighting this guy. Okay. Fantasy star online. And then what's this one? Tasty burger. New super burger. I like how they didn't give me any tutorial about how this works. Not entirely sure how I attack. Is that a real game? No. Is it like a Final Fantasy? I play Shadow the Hedgehog next. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we'll do a Shadow playthrough. Cause I, you know how much I like Shadow. Shadow is the sexiest character in the Sonic the Hedgehog universe. Oh, I just bought Jumanji the video game. Ooh. 
Did you get it from GOG? Jumanji scared the shit out of me as a kid. Take care. Not hey guys, just hey guy. What? <gasps> there he is! There he is! It all starts with this. Shadow, you're amazing! A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald. Now I know what's going on. The military has mistaken me for the likes of you. <laughs> so, where do you think you're going with that emerald? <laughs> I just murder any hedgehog we see. You fake hedgehog! You fake hedgehog! No! Control. <laughs> Chaos control! You are Shadow! You are! Yeah. Hands up, pants down! <laughs> Who needs infinity says we have Chaos Emeralds? Oh, there's the sexy bat lady! Big knockers! What are you talking about? That emerald's mine. You got that? The Master Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emerald. That makes it very powerful. What the? What the? Look who's calling who at the. Alright. Well, they did put. They, like, they. Very. They positioned the camera. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald. This is not Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman. Why is the music so loud as well? Not if I can help it. <laughs> what was that all about? And look what you did to my emerald! I did that to prevent the master emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If she looks like she stole a loaf of bread and put it in her shirt. <laughs> Before we embedded audio balancing. I despise anyone who takes oh, they're the will they won't they of the Sonic world. Yeah, we'll see about that, bad girl. Bad girl. They're kinda cute. I ship them. They're ashamed of the dialogue. Oh, we get to play as Knuckles? I fucking love Knuckles. What? I can't hear you! I can't hear you over your own rotor blade! <laughs> why, is the, why is its own rotor blade so fucking loud? Knuckles is a bit slow. Take care! Alright. The camera is fucking wacky as well. Like, it pivots when I don't ask it to. Oh, are there? Great, now I do. I do, Russ, I do. I just like a good romance, you know? What can I say? Really wanted to, really wanted the camera to pan to the feet just then. All right, we'll ride the wind. Oh, this looks quite nice. I can't fucking see anything. Where am I supposed to be going? Over there? Oh, fuck. Why does 
he fucking move like... Why does he move like Superman? Oh my god, I can knuckle onto things? Oh my god, look at that. Look at him go. Oh, that's kind of fun. It's like Jedi Survivor with all of the... Oh shit. With all the wall running. Oh god. Camera! Like, forget Eggman. The camera's the real, like, real enemy in this game. Jesus Christ. How many knuckles deep? Well, it looks like he's just going... He's going full knuckle. Oh, my lord. All oh, right, look. Fine. Fuck it. What, what direction do you want me to go, camera? Do you want me to go over there? Or do you want to... We'll go over here. All right. You know what? Knuckles is, like, you know... He's not that slow. Faster than an old lady on a Zimmer frame. Hello? Sash. Maybe we should find someone to ship him with. Ooh. I'm not saying I'm not saying anything. I'm not I don't have anything to say. He's just lonely. That statue's lonely. Oh dear. Have I get my new zimmer? Oh fuck, I just died! Brooks, I blame, I blame you for that one. For this sake. A new zimmer frame. Yeah, your mum's gonna let me hers. Right, where was that? Is that something I wanted? Slicks the spikes back with water every morning. Nah, use this gel, right? It's the 90s. Everybody has loads of gel on them. Oh my gosh. Right. Knuckles. Knuckles. Knuckles, please. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I see you're heading this way. Too bad you can't see that you are. No idea what way I'm meant to be heading. Arr. Because he are. Oh shit. Statue. I reckon, yeah, I reckon if Knuckles was a real person, he'd have lost in tips. You're right. Very sonic blessed morning. Oh lord. Oh! Emerald? No. I'm not sure what that is. I like how these rings are just slightly taller than me, so I can't quite get them without jumping. Bloody fly! I think I feel playing it, lads. Feel nauseous watching it. <laughs> I 
like how I can still hear the rotor blades just somewhere. And the camera won't twist now, so I've got no idea where I'm supposed to be jumping, but we'll, we'll go over here. They're dead. There's something about... Am I supposed to be up there, maybe? Jump up that? Oh my god, the camera stopped turning! <laughs> There's something... Something very nostalgic about... These fucking controls. And just having this, like, 90s music going, Oh, yeah! Oh, oh! In my... <laughs> fucking headphones. Well, I'm fighting for my fucking life. Do you know what's even worse, Lance? These, the stick deck, the, the directions are reversed. So if you want to go left, you have to press right. If you want to press, if you want to go right, you've got to press left. Who knows why? Only great, our great lord and saviour Sonic can know why. I don't think I can rebind it, Greg. Oh, lord. Rebound. No, I didn't rebind. I already changed it over a little bit. I mean, ooh, am I supposed to be on top? Oh my god. Am I supposed to be on top of that? Okay, good morning. This doesn't feel very fast, I'll admit. It does not feel like we are going... One more left. Gotta follow the beacon. Find it in another stage and then come back. Find it in another stage. 
staging. I'm never coming back here. Find it another stage and come back. Absolutely fucking not. I'm not coming back. Who's going where? I can't wait to come back to this level. Now I'm just inside a box. Potatoes. Oh. oh! We we got nothing. This is really awful hide and seek. We uh well I so I I I I said a lot about Jedi Survivor at the end of the end of the game. Um, the the ending bit of the story was good. But overall, did I enjoy? I th I, I, I didn't think it was a very good game. Or for me, for me, it wasn't. You know, I don't want to say it wasn't a good game because I think then it seems like it wasn't. A, you know, it wasn't a good game at all. Whereas, no, 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 the beep is um, the beep is for us to find the last crystal. further away from it. I see it! I think I see it, lads. It's up here. It's not. Sorry, lads. Maybe it is still over here. Near the six pillars. Can't wait to come back here. Knuckles. Really, Badger? Why haven't you embraced the dark side? It. Haven't you it, embraced it? The duty last. Where? I haven't embraced the dark. It's the dark. Dead gum. Dead gum. Dead gum. Dead gum. Took the words right out of my mouth, Mater. Right out of my mouth. <laughs> okay, thank you. He was so upset. So upset that I didn't decide to play as him. Just have a fucking aneurysm. Near the six pillars. Oh, shit. 
perfect with this music, Evelyn. Ebony, you- oh no, you're not back to work. I was gonna say you're not back to work yet, are you? No, you're- yeah. You're literally sitting, waiting for your flight. I'm happy to have a clue at this point. Oh, oh. But not the very top. I wanted to I wanted to be able to have bird's eye view. But then I now I've just realized <laughs> down. Oh, it's red. Oh my god! That was it was inside? How was that got another E, haven't I? Yeah, there we go. I have to try harder. E for expert. Here is my impression of the Sonic Adventures 2 Raider. Beep, 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 beep. Beep. David! David! I can't, can't believe you'd say such a word. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. I can't believe it. Look at these little cute little friends, though. No, I mean, um, wash them. Oh, they float. Nice. There are throw, there is throw. doing with it? Shake the baby. <laughs> Shake. Shake the baby. <laughs> I do great on it. I do great. Knuckles just became a dad. <laughs> you reckon that you can swim? He's doing great. Hey, mom. Come to mama. Come to mama! Oh, it's taking on water! Now now I don't know, I don't know how we pick it up. I don't know what, so the button to pick it up is the same as the button to pet and go now there. to do with it. Can we? Ooh. It's got a fly meter, so like surely I'm just teaching it to fly, right? Then put it, push it off something a bit higher. Oh, up, up, up.
Oh, I can throw as well. Yes, have birds learn, exactly. Oh, it bounces off the side, okay. Now there, now there, now there. It's very cute, but like just as a as an aside, it's very cute. Glasses. Oh, there's two of them. There's another one. This one hasn't learned to swim yet. I feel a bit mean. I feel. I feel a bit mean. Pick it up, knuckles. Crying because I just tried to murder your brother. Is that why you're crying? No, I can try and murder you as well if you want. No, <laughs> I don't no, understand no, what I'm supposed to be doing. Am I supposed to be stopping no, them? Oh, fuck. They'll stop crying eventually, I'm sure. Stop crying. Stop crying or I'll throw you in the water again. Oh, it's tails. Prison Island. Did they say that's what? I oh, sorry, I missed that. Tally's or of us Normandy to teach her to fly. See, I was just trying to help Tally. I was just trying to help her. No one else understands. The Turgle. Wow, look at those water effects. Look better than Jedi Survivor. <laughs> this time I'll let you go, but the next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. Wow, Tails, you did it! But what are you doing here on this island? I'm the one who should be asking that question. Don't you know it's dangerous here? I know, but I'm here to save my hero, Sonic. Again? Hurry! I know Eggman's up to no good again. Okay, you stay here and I'll be right back. Don't leave without me! I want to help Sonic too! Pri it is Prison Island! Baby in the corner. That way we've got the jail. Oh shit. It's kinda cute, that's the last thing he says before he dies is Sonic's name. Hey, 
Wait, look. look I don't have Chili Knight anymore. I don't have Chili Knight anymore because I kept shitting myself. I feel like they gave Knuckles a little bit of a raw deal. goes up like this. It's, a, it's an Evangelion staple. Tails' mum is in that mech suit. So it really is like a Saturday night. Unicorn's a little bit scared as I'm just firing rockets at it. I reckon I can't get it. Yeah. Oh, fuck it. Don't worry, Tails. Your mum is also your girlfriend. Your dad reincarnated your mum as your girlfriend. But she's also the robot that you're riding. Don't ask too many questions about it, Tails. And your girlfriend is actually your mum's reincarnated or clone of her best friend. Your new girlfriend. Yeah, that's that's a lot of women giving. Don't ask don't ask too many questions. Make sure you write that down. Your mum is your girlfriend. Your girlfriend, your other girlfriend, is also your mum's best friend. Okay. There was another one over here. Oh god. Hello. And your boyfriend is an angel thing of the apocalypse. Yeah. But he's good. Don't worry. He's, he's kind of good. Kind of. And you can play the piano. You know what they say about piano fingers. And that older lady who takes care of you, she's gonna kiss you before she dies. Don't make it that too weird. I got a rank D! D for d d demonstrably better than the other. <laughs> than the other. How did we get in jail? Oh, I remember how we got in jail. I, I remember. Huh? Amy? Keep Has Amy's thing. dress got a low back? Or does her hump just Amy like why like why she got it why why she why have they given her a hump? How did you get here? Oh, is it like maybe it's like a halter neck? Well, you gotta know. I caught a ride. 
I said hip hop hippie Are hop don't sure stop. Don't <laughs> like thank you so much for 80 months. A year and a half. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you have a lovely Tuesday. Did you see it? Where is it now? If I tell you, will you marry me? No way. I thought I had you this time. I thought I could force you into marriage this time, so I can get you next time. That black hedgehog came here with Dr. Eggman. So, Eggman's behind this, huh? What's all that writing on the wall anyway? Does she have a hairy back? So, I think, I've, I've always upheld me, that I think it, they are wearing light for suits. That they're actually, like, you know, they're hedgehogs. Uh, did we just fucking leave Amy? Like, bye Amy, I've got to escape prison. <laughs> yeah, she's the same as Sonic wearing a Lycra suit, right? Oh dear. Oh, never mind. Well, fuck that. That's why Sonic's arms are exposed. Oh, I see. <laughs> Alrighty then. That clearly wasn't correct. Oh, f have I fucked up? Story select. Stage select. It's not gonna make me do it again, right? Prison lane. That's where we were, right? I ran out of lives, so it just. Story so select. I have to just study. Stage select. Story. Story select. I'm Sonic. I'm Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. What in the world is Amy doing here? <laughs> Never mind that. I need to focus on finding that black hedgehog who looks like my shadow. He's somewhere on this island. I know it. I'm wasting my time here. I'll trick the military guards and bust out of this joint. Does this mean that I'm a deserter now? <laughs> This mean I, it was Sonic ever in the mil was Sonic a, mil a military man? Is Sonic a weapon of the US military? Thank god it auto saves. I was gonna be so upset if it just booted me straight to title and they were like, we'll get Sonic again. Sonic's actually a veteran. I suppose they were worried Sonic might get um get caught by Sega. Whereas perhaps they weren't uh, weren't so concerned about like Shadow or Knuckles being. Light dash to move at light speed along paths of rings. The action window will appear near rings. Press the B button to get. Oops. Thinking about thinking of cards. I've been thinking about it. Oh fuck. If I run out of lives. No, we're good. I've been thinking about it. Sonic is very mature, I'll have you know though. Oh, right. 
gotta go slow. I just almost want, I just want to experience them. You know, so many people love them so much and there's so much merch of them out and about. They can't, you know. Sorry, Sonic, I was scratching my nose. Grab it, Sonic. Grab it. It's almost as mature as Chaos. Oh, Mary Kane Ashley. Mary Kane Ashley was very mature. Thank you. Look, Sonic's very mature. Look, think. There's a missile launching. We're talking about the American military here. There are guns. We've just grabbed onto a fucking nuclear weapon. If that's not mature, I don't know what is. Oh, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Oh. What am I? Why are we skateboarding again? Why am I missing everything? Oh god, that's embarrassing. Order. Have as good of a time as you can at the yes. beginning. Oh, so I didn't see the gameplay for Starfield, but I did see the uh, did see the gameplay with Star Wars Outlaws. I thought Star Wars Outlaws. Was actually... It was it was quite a surprise. There were bits of it that I didn't like. Um... Barely made it. <laughs> there were bits of it that I thought, oh, you know, and I thought the frame rate didn't look great, and I I I was a bit yeah, I'm a bit cranky with Star Wars games at the moment, so I wasn't feeling in the most positive mood when I when I was watching it. Um... <laughs> But it does. So it, far, so I'm willing to withhold judgment that hey, it does. That's... Some of it does look that quite good. Hedgehog again of all places. I found you, Faker. 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 I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Huh? You're not even good enough to be I'll my. I'll make you fake. eat those words. Oh, we're gonna give him a knuckle you sandwich. You won't even get the chance. Oh, it's so. He is pretty cool. Oh, Shadow, you supposed? Ouch! I'm a cool. oh, I see. So you're not just a hedgehog. Oh, so you're not just a hedgehog. Ah! He got me. He got me. There's no time to Flight's play delayed. Oh, the will they let you stay over? You won't be able it's to just too delayed. Him. Try something to lower his defenses. <laughs> My discomfort with that skateboarding section was full on grandma, I know. I know. I did have a Tony Four Tony Four when I was younger. You can't attack him from the front. But I wasn't maneuvering and attack from the rear. Oh, we've gotta get him in the rear lads. <laughs> No, stop, Sonic! Why would you go to the me? I blame him, but really it was my fault. I'm gonna get kicked. Story. No, you hang up. No, you hang up! So far, so good. Oh, I've seen the gameplay for Starfield as something new. Oh, help! Good morning! I, as I've always said, I think that, um, I don't know how I can fix this, but, um, I think that stuff would just look like Nomad Sky with extra, extra budget. And I didn't like that it was, uh, they've announced that it's only gonna run at 30 frames a second as a stylistic choice. You won't even get the chance. And I haven't seen the Sea of Thieves, I haven't. I forgot about it. Oh! 30 FPS on console, but the Xbox can run 60 FPS. It seems like such a shame. Can't run as fast as Sonic. It'll probably have more frames than Jedi Survivor, so. Oh, he takes my rings from me. That's fucking rude. There 
There we go. I'm the coolest. I'm the coolest. Oh, I see. Ow. So you're not just a hedgehog. Not just a hedgehog. God, doesn't Sh Shadow's like design is super cool, isn't it? Look at those go faster stripes he's got on his uh, on his little spinies. Very cool. Not bad for an imposter. Do you know who I am? It's a low bar, but still some games still limbo under it. Have you got your mouth Jim, open? What are you doing? Hurry and get back here right now before the island blows up with you on it. Oh, that's Whoa, cute. Eggman yeah. cares. I thought I might find Kingdom Hearts kind of, um, yeah, like cute and... Uh, oh dear. Cute and charming in the same way that I find kind of Sonic charm. Oh, I wanted that little pet thing. Oh, oh shit. Plus, I was, um, I was into Disney growing up, so it might be, uh, might be quite nostalgic for me. Original music from Disney, uh, Disney films. You just reminded me by saying the Tarzan world. Oops, oops, oops. Like the the best fucking soundtrack, Phil Collins' Tarzan soundtrack. Brother Bear, amazing soundtrack as well. Said I've only got eight minutes as well. Rhoda Eldorado was one of the subjects. Or is it does Disney own? Because doesn't Disney own Anastasia now as well? He own Eldorado. Oh, Sonic! Back here. <laughs> All right, it's fine. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Brain flame Sonic and not my own stupid. El Dorado is DreamWorks. I just didn't know whether Disney technically owned DreamWorks. Like my, so as an adult, I keep meaning it to attack that one. Like, and I just I keep fucking it up every time I need to. Yeah. Oh, the speed of gravity is back. Terminal, terminal velocity. 
Emperor's New Groove is a Disney is only Disney. Got a good soundtrack, right? I'm trying to think what I sung along to the most as a kid. Like uh, Aladdin, maybe. much welcome in. You are a fool! A fool to a follow very much. Greetings from the UK! How are you doing today? Here we go. I remember Hercules Hercu Hercu having a bit, bit of a mid. Oh no, I say bit of a mid. Zero to Hero was pretty fucking good. Like, all of the songs by the Muses, really great. And then, um... Oh, lads, I think. Lads, I think. Oh no, we're good. And then the song by Meg, also pretty good. Warm. <laughs> he has an insult people, it's just, it's just as you're a fool, a fool to follow. I think I just, I don't like the, um, go the distance song in Hercules, I think it's a bit boring. I think they could have done more with it. Oh dang. Eggman fucking nuking a whole island. Pumpkin Hill, find three pieces of the Master Emerald. Oh, not Knuckles again. There's no time to lose. I have to hurry and find the Master Emerald. So I, I love Knuckles as a character. I don't know what it. I don't know what it is about the camera in the Knuckles section. I don't know what it is. <laughs> the flying's quite nice. Never played this game. Did you play the first one at all? Or were you, um, were you not a Sonic? Not a Sonic fan. Sonic Adventures 1 was my first Sonic game. <laughs> I like how the song even says I can't see a thing. Cause I can't. I can't see a thing. the film is it any good Sonic was the very first oh your very first Sonic was on the Mega Drive oh. don't want to turn my fan off because it's hot <laughs> but equally it needs to stop blowing hair in my face it's off I can't live like this anymore <laughs> It's a floor, but also a ceiling. I quite enjoyed the Detective Pikachu film. That was a big surprise for me. Sonic Advance. Game Boy Advance? No. Game Advance? This is Pumpkin Mountain. 
you don't have anything else to say to me? Just... Alrighty then. <laughs> Great, good to know. Yeah, I've been tempted. I've been tempted to cut my hair, but then then it's just too short and I can't get it out in a like in a ponytail or anything, which is more of a more annoying. I wouldn't be willing to go sh short, short. Oh, it's not cool. It's not cool. Right? Do you think I can make it over there if I just fly? No, no. I do like how Knuckles can fly, it's nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I do. Oh, oh, oh. I do prefer it longer. Just personally. I feel like I can do more with it. But I haven't had a haircut in like three years. Crash, ah, uh, no, so I think I might have played a Crash Bandicoot game, but the main one I remember is the Crash Bandicoot Racers game. I have the demo disc from a box of cereal. Yeah. Yeah. I had to have quite a severe haircut, haircut recently. Oh no, Ora, were you, are you pleased with how the haircut turned out? the worst when you kind of don't even get a choice if you get a haircut or not. Green. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, it's red. It's red. It must be right here. Must be right here. Like underneath? Oh, I see it! Oh, I see it! I see it! I see it! How do I get to it? Knuckles. Knuckles! Knuckles! No, Knuckles! Please! More left labs. We got there. We got there. I'm not sure if you can see now. <laughs> not sure if he's got it on show. I had to get my annual haircut for this chip. It was in the chair for about half an hour. I just, it got a COVID and I couldn't get haircuts anymore. I, had, I started with short hair. And I was like, I just, I just don't think, I don't think I'll go back. I just, I just won't ever get a haircut again. And it's been all right. I hate it sometimes. I sometimes, you know, I look at the kitchen scissors and I'm like, oh boy. Oh boy, would I ever like to hack away at it right now. This is the longest hair I've had, I think. Oh, pumpkin family. Oh! The pumpkin family graveyard, how nice. I'm sure they're glad I'm running over their graves in here. How nice. How wholesome. Oh, we're going right to the top! There's one up here somewhere. It's 
closer. I might have played little bits of the original um, original Mario Brothers, but I've never done a whole run of it before. about this pumpkin. I wouldn't mind it. No, throw it. Pick up the pumpkin and throw it. Say hi back. Say hi back. One of those pumpkins is a bomb. <laughs> Gosh, inside, lads. Hang on, I, I can clip through the wall. It's inside. There's a massive bit door somewhere. Sense it in my feet. Get in there though. It's no door. Do I not have a dig? I don't think I've got dig yet. I don't think. Don't worry, I asked. Don't worry, I asked. The general rule is usually usually I'll ask, but um, usually people are like watch me suffer anyway. <laughs> Good morning. I know where it is and I can even clip in and see it. I can't destroy the pumpkins. It does chuck out things. Oh, Pop is back. Presume you wanted it in the British British way. I've got this pumpkin here that I can pick up, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with it. Oh well, I've fallen. Try breaking a floating rock. No, they wouldn't put it in a floating rock, right? Just... 
Yeah, I was wondering if there was an entrance and we could maybe climb up the top. Chuck him in the soup. Chuck him in the soup. Very much for following me on Instagram. Thank you. How long do I stream? I I tend to stream for uh, until around five five years. Is he down here? Behind a big pumpkin in a big field. I know where the big pumpkin is. Best Sonic game of all time. Oh, really? I'd hate to see what the worst one was. Yeah, I stream until I get the shit. <laughs> Behind a big pumpkin in a field. But I already know. Am I supposed to be maybe able to access this kind of spot? I see it. It's right here. Should I play the worst? <laughs> so I have actually heard that this is the worst Sonic game. So technically we are. Outlook not so good. Okay, tell me. If anybody knows where it is, you can absolutely tell me how I get in there to get this stupid fucking thing. Sonic 06 is the worst. Can I guess what year that came out in? Anybody who knows, you can absolutely tell me. I know the emerald's nearby, Knuckles! I don't need you telling me! Behind a big pumpkin in the pumpkin field. Go to the starting. Oh my god. There was a digging upgrade. A wish will soon be granted, so be careful for what you wish for. Careful what you wish for. Oven. What would you wish? Probably that you can like that you can go home, right? <laughs> Probably that they'll uh, give you a flight that will take you home. Am I missing cars yet? Right, where's the bloody starting area? Missing croc yet? No, not quite. I am feeling a little bit motion sick. It's like dig in the drawer action. Okay, right. So if you press B when you're in the air. You know me, the fighting freak knuckles. Now we're at home. Yeah, we go. Yeah. Am I finding the game overall so far? I feel a little bit ill if I'm. Oh wow, okay. That's not what I wanted. I just wanted you to let go. Try to keep it together, guys. Okay, down there. Red monkeys, poor I'm always careful of my wishes. Will you tell anyone your wishes, or do you think it brings you bad luck? Did you, wish, did you keep your wishes to yourself. I quite like the music as well. Felt a little bit ill before stream. Uh, 
anticlimactic death, he just fell over! Story select. I'm Knuckles, the kid. Just call me Knuckles. Following the faint signal I was getting from the Master Emerald, I found myself in this world camp. Sure feels creepy. But I'm not afraid of ghosts. I have to find the pieces of the Master Emerald now. Oh, great. This place Goodbye. sure feels haunted. There's no time to lose. I have to hurry and find the Master Emerald. Have I got the I don't have the dig thing yet? Alright, let's go find where the dig thing is. Oh god, where's the dig? I see. So you're not just a badger. <laughs> Dead gum. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> you very much. Okay. Thank you. Oh dear. I have fallen. I don't know where I'm going to be going and I feel sick! <laughs> no, it's the faint beeping that's in our ear all the time. Ay, ay, ay. But Idris Elba's knuckles. Idris Elba played... Yeah. Idris Elba played knuckles? No, you haven't given any true facts about Echidna. Echidna? And they call Echidna. I always used to call them empanadas. Knuckles was an empanada. They didn't, have, they didn't make the Idris Elba play Knuckles. He didn't, he didn't bring himself down to that, right? Knuckles the empanada, yeah. That light up. Oh damn! That's not where I wanted to go. Ah, no. Oh, I have got the dig thing. It says I do. It says I've already picked it up. It says I've already picked it up. I see. I see. Oh lord. I see. I see that. Edge of Silver was a fast and furious villain. Does he know it's all about family? Idris Elba was Knuckles in the movie. <laughs> I suppose it does make Knuckles sexier, that's true. Very, very true. That wasn't fair. That, w that wasn't fair. I'm being shot. I'm being shot at. I'm at the wrong place. I'm in the I'm in the wrong area. Oh no, I think we're okay. Let me scrap. Let me scrap. Good. Oh, should I ask if I can get yes, absolutely other. You mean it doesn't hurt to ask, does it? What's the worst thing they're gonna say? No. We're looking for the chaos emerald. Right? Is that that's yeah. And it's over here somewhere. Is it not over here? <laughs> Is it moved? <laughs> they don't move every time, do they? Lufus, get it changed after you got game over. Yeah. 
<laughs> it would be fine if it wasn't making me feel horrifically unwell. <laughs> I think he spoke, didn't he speak normally in um, Lufa? That's why I have to keep stopping because I just like that. I don't know what it is. It feels like back when I was in the Alien Isolation VR. I don't know. I don't know why it makes me feel so unwell. I've just got to mentally prepare myself to go back out looking for the emeralds. I like the trains. They're very cute. See them just going around the little tracks. Very sweet. I wish I'd picked Shadow now. I wish I'd picked the evil. I wish I'd picked the dark side. <laughs> Alright. Second skull from the top. What? This one. Should that just stop playing this one? Well, I'm at least gonna give it a good old, a good old try, Loss. Right, it's not here. Side also has treasure levels. Who do you play as in the treasure levels? Yes! Apparently so was. <laughs> Zucchini is uh it's like cor it's it is courgette. If you if you've ever had courgette before. Oh. The weirdly attractive <laughs> Your knuckles wouldn't be Dio. I've got no idea about JoJo references. I just know there's some good Dio. I feel like a grandma asking, "Is it that Dio fella?" Right, it's not on this one. Let's try this one. We haven't got a single beep yet either. Oh, Jodoro's stand says auto auto when it punches. They're these kids in their anime. Jotaro, they got their their Shinjis. in this stage. Then Naruto runs. Their Okai. Oh, I was hoping I could stand on the back of that. Never mind. Is it fun? If you're really into motion sickness, it's great. If, you, if that's like, if that's the niche that you're like, wow. Gosh, I wish they incorporated it into more games. Yes. Oh, we got a beep in. Finally, you got a beep. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Beep 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 dad gum. <laughs> beep 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 <laughs> Thank you very much Honor, thank you! I convinced my wife to watch Evangelion. Within a minute of seeing Shinji she goes, I'm supposed to hate this guy, right? Which, which, um... Which did you start her off with? Was it the the, the hospital scene? Because I can imagine that would be that might be why she thinks she's got a hate change. Perhaps can't be Or is it just the original series? 
Shinji's no, is Shinji's alright in the original series? Oh my god, there it is! Two more left, lads. Two more left. Two more left. Stop changing the camera. This is the ghost train turntable. Move the switch in the direction you want the train to go. Oh, I see. Does it matter? Maybe making the window smaller? But I have to exit the break. I don't want to start this level again. <laughs> if I play, if I find these last two Chaos Emeralds, we can leave this place and play. So we can play as Sonic. <laughs> this is making me sick. <laughs> God, let me run a poll. I want to know who's feeling actually ill right now because of this game. Because I am. <laughs> Left was giving me. I don't have anything lined up to play. I don't have anything else lined up to play. I haven't. I haven't got anything else. Oh, I'm hungover. Does it really count if I feel sick? Oh god. Who feels sick? Oh jeez. I can't even look at a, a screen. Go on, you got three minutes to tell me if you feel sick or not. Do you feel, do you feel sick? Yes. Oh dear. Nah, just sick of the game. Like, feel feel sick due to the game. Like, un unwell. <laughs> who is who feels legitimately sick because of this game? Can I change my answer? No. <laughs> I think Todd. I don't know if I'm mentally prepared for Todd. I've always got, I've got to be mental, mentally prepared for the Todd, you know? You're going my way and I want to ride it all night long. Do I accept game suggestions? I, I do, we've got a channel in the Discord for game suggestions. Thank you very much, Barry. Thank you. I was in the choir. Could do uh we could we could uh we have a detective game that I could play. Presuming I don't know if I've got it installed. Um nineteen percent voter turnout, what is this a local election? <laughs> so it's like it's more than fifty percent feel sick. Which is quite a high, you know. This is a non legally binding referendum. Popped on some. Um, I've popped on some music. Maybe um. Maybe we do Park Sonic for now, because I can genuinely feel my lunch coming. Up. <laughs> 
Hey Jenny Lee, I've got a chunk sitting right there. <laughs> I've got a chunk sitting right in my throat and it really wasn't it. <laughs> second breath. <laughs> oh my god. And it's knocking at the door. See you, Sonic. Oh my god. Alright, let's figure out what we're gonna play. Taste again. Oh, delicious. Yes. I'm from Parachakamon. Um, let me see if I can find something fun for us to do. Okay. <laughs> see, 12, 12 out of how many? Six? 18. That's two thirds of feeling sick. Two hours is the joke. I'm sorry, guys. I don't. I didn't mean for um. Oh, I don't. I didn't mean for um Sonic to not go ahead. Oh, I feel. I feel bad. I feel bad, but I feel like I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> right. How do people feel? About frog detectors. We're sick too. <laughs> I sp I'm just doing it. I'm doing the best for you guys. How do you feel about frog detective? I had that. Um, I have got that waiting in the wings to play on days where we don't have anything. Like we don't have anything else to play. You will address me by my girlfriend's husband. <laughs> We're all sick now. <laughs> Detective games are good, and de Frog Detective's very cute. I don't know if it's... So I was wondering, I, th I thought it was going to be really cute, but some people have said it's really harrowing, so I don't know if it's going to be cute or whether it's, it's going to be slightly emotionally... emotionally harrowing. Let's, uh, let's switch over to Frog Detective. Hi, sweetheart! Uh... The license. <laughs> I'm trying to win the battle against my breakfast here. Do I have any? No, I don't. I, I have some car car sickness tablets that I take before VR. Take a five minute break, get up, get some water. I don't like taking, I don't like taking breaks. Maybe I will take a five minute break. <laughs> Bad? Five minutes? <laughs> All right, lads. I'll take a five-minute break. I'll uh, I'll <laughs> swallow down my lunch. I'll be I'll literally be back in five minutes. All right. Oh, I don't even have a I don't even have a break screen. I don't have a take breaks. Do I put you on my intro screen? You happy watching the intro screen? Having a little bit of music? Cause I will be sick. <laughs> I got, a, got a bad feeling that I'm gonna be sick. I'll see you in a second. I'll see you in five minutes.
Lynn, everyone. How's our motion sickness? I got my mic right now. Oh, I look more ridiculous than I thought I was going to. I got my migraine hat on. <laughs> Greg said I look like a priest. Priest of the Church of Sonic, eh? <laughs> migraine hat has been frozen and popped on my head, so I feel a little better now. <laughs> you were waiting for me We will be playing some Frog Detective. We are a frog and we're a detective. I haven't set this game up prior to this, so we'll see um, See if I can get it working. Nice forehead knob. Oh yeah, like a little um, a little peep. Um. Did I ever play Do Not Feed the Monkeys? No. No, isn't it? Has it got monkeys in it? Had to go to Toad. Right, let me just see if I can, uh, if it's got any options. So it's supposed to. I'm gonna rub off my eyebrows, but. So it's supposed to go like that. But I, I can't play games like that, so I've just gotta have it. <laughs> gotta have it on the top of my head. It's for migraines. It's so you don't see anything. It's like a dog happy hoodie for you. <laughs> exactly, exactly that. Oh god, I've got like five. I was wondering where that was coming from. I'd stop that. Or a little sleep mask. I think you are supposed to be able to sleep with it on as well. Time to watch Captain Magic Day while we're doing a delicious cup of coffee and a crispy crumb donut. Oh, a crispy creme? <laughs> a crispy creme? What flavor crispy creme have you gone for? Rock Detective Lads! Lashka, thank you very much. Thank you very much. What flavor did you go for? Thank you very much, Blood. Thank you. Original glaze. Very vanilla, Shalashka. Very vanilla. Why didn't you go for anything more exciting? Look around using the mouse to move. Using it was to be. Hello? Land guy. Hello? Who is it? Oh, look at my little frog hand! Get out of here! What kind of coffee have you gone for as well? It's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. How's life? Should I be giving these guys. Do you want voices for them? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Frog voice. 
Me and the wife just hit back from Indonesia. Ah, oh, well. Salamat. Dam datang Kimbali. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? All right, I have a case for you. Oh, it's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So get this, he has a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Wow. The ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help and they want the greatest investigator I have. And so I said to them, I'll send me best investigator. But Lobster Cup wasn't available. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I understand Lobster Cup's abilities far outweigh my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So are you up for it? I don't know, it sounds very scary. I have to be very brave. I believe in you, Detective. That's just what I needed to hear, thank you. I'll do it. Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? I don't know why everyone's merging in the northern. Sure thing, the basics are. There's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell a haunted island like that? Because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. Alright. How long did it take you, Bananas? Make you motion sick, Urban. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Wish I hadn't fucking done that. I still don't feel great. Oh, yes. My trusty magnifying glass can't solve any mysteries without it. Oh, this is... <laughs> Wide. This is how I feel right now. <laughs> this is how I feel. <laughs> well, maybe this. Hey, hey, Lee, the story is absolutely riveting. Absolutely hopping mad. Time to solve a mystery. Ain't no flies on me because I ate them all. <laughs> Why does he look like that? This is, this is, you know, I wasn't sure my computer was going to be able to handle this game. But I think we're just about, we're about going to do it. <laughs> That's me with my, with my cold hat on. the animation. I quite like the vibe. They cheated you, Jay. Oh. Am I first? Oh, I'm first person. Why do I, I just, I have the need to look at everything and go, it me.
your legs. Your legs. Oh, we got cake. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind me, it's just the return of lunch a little bit. If you put a sponge in a blender, it'll reconstitute itself. What like a like a sea sponge? How do they know though? I suppose they just find their own body parts. <laughs> Game's great. <laughs> it looks like Tinkle. It looks like Tinkle from Zelda. Oh, was this not called Crotch Detective? I thought that's what we were playing. I thought that's what I loaded up. <laughs> those fish fingers. I take those. Yum, but it's not mine. Check it for a deviated septum. <laughs> Let's have a doctor that let me help you. I know I'm supposed to be doing something right now, but I got I got business to attend to. Buy me. Who took my sunglasses? Give back. Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Scooby Doo. Note some hole. I told you this was crotch detective. Need some tomatoes or some tom toes for soup. Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. This is how a 76 year old reads. Look, I don't have my reading glasses. I gotta magnify everything. I take that. This might come in handy. I can steal things. Science line, don't go in. <laughs> I was going to say something. <laughs> it's not mine, 30 seconds later. <laughs> Might come in handy, I'll take that. Oh wow, that's the face I make when I'm ha <laughs> having trouble on the toilet. <laughs> you get crabs. This does look like me with my little hat on. Can I take that? A broom! I got a broom! Wait, is that koala drowning? I'll go help him in a minute. I go. Oh. Oh my god, what was that? Did you see that? That was kind of spooky. Did you see that? You guys saw that, right? He's not gonna drown any quicker. If I get... <laughs> He's fine.
Alrighty then. Do you need any help, sir? Or are you good? <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna have to give them all voices. Um Good day, mate. Hey hey Ori. What are you doing in there? Swimming, mate. That's <laughs> my Australian accent is really good, right? And there's a storm. Eh, yeah, it's not raining yet, mate. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Sad. <laughs> Good day, everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water, mate. Ghosts can't swim, mate. Martin said, Martin said ghosts don't swim. You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. <laughs> Who wrote this game? Who wrote this game? This is, like <laughs> this is like my therapy sessions. Oh, you don't seem very happy with that. I'm not. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. Oh. I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Boats are fast and I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. It's saying, mate, I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't. Is there anything you need to know, mate? I got a, ghost. I got a magnet for you. I bought you a magnet. What, mate? Like, a real one, mate? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true, mate. Thank you very much, mate. In return, I'll give you this big shell, mate. I don't need any anyway. Look, is the happy little... My, my green hat, Mr. West. Making me feel less sick. <laughs> Got a hole in the top. It goes over. It goes over your face, but obviously I wouldn't be able to play games. He smiled. He happy. Oh, he's so happy. Right, monkey. <laughs> yeah, but what you got anything else to say about my migraine hat? <laughs> oh, you got a you got a big bedong. Notes maybe in a maybe. Maybe a man in a suit. What voice are we going to give the monkey? Well, now you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you figured out who was behind the forest theft in which town, I couldn't believe it. I thought no one would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, you've been following my blog posts. Yes, I'm Mr. Monkey 49. I call it all the time. I even made a funny joke once and you responded. Of course, I remember. I'm Mr. Monkey 49. Please, Mr. Monkey 49 is my online name. You could just call me Mystery Monkey. Of course. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Questions, yes. What would you like to know? The resident. May I ask who the resident of this island is? Ah, that'd be Martin. Well, we wandered off to there. You can find him hiding in the forest. I think the ghost can catch him there. Very interesting, I'll investigate. Where to start? Who should I talk to first? Is it just gonna be Martin? Martin. Larry! Who is your Larry? He always wants to meet new people. Wants to meet new people to meet. Oh, okay, so he's extroverted. Right. Thank you. MM Mystery Monkey. I gotta, I gotta inspect the booty, see what secrets they got. 
But Larry is just happy to be here. This hole. I can't get it. <laughs> like how they wipe. Yeah, I want to know if they wash their ass or not. Oh no, what voice am I going to give Hi, it's me, Larry. I did not do it. <laughs> Larry, all right. <laughs> the noises are not coming from me. I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. <laughs> did not make noises. Do it like being accused. Like a politician. <laughs> Larry's. <laughs> Larry's like a fucking politician. Jesus Christ. Are you gonna ask me questions? Yeah, go on. The noises. Tell me about the noises, Larry, that you definitely didn't make. Firstly, I am not the one making them, but I know where they're coming from. They're coming from the cave in the forest. Now Billy listens to old Larry. He won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Right, gotta go Sam's hat. Larry, Larry, I'm not getting, I'm not getting big listener vibes from you, Larry. I'm really a great listener. I need a few things. Get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. We're dealing with ghost detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I need a few things. I couldn't keep up with the voice. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, wool, and a chunk of pure gold and some pasta. Or as the Americans would say, pasta. Normal explosive ingredients. Just the standard explosive recipe. You want to get in that cape, bring me those ingredients. All right, Larry. Nothing right now, Larry. I'll be back with you. Can I have your pasta, Bernie? Hi, you're that detective, right? The one that the monkey keeps going on about? That gave me this this voice gave me big bear vibes. That's me. I'm so glad they finally bought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why'd you take it then? I'll be honest, I thought it was a secret agent job. Why wouldn't you think that? The job listing said ghost scientists. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? Why that only small people could figure out like me? Still could be a cover maybe when they're testing you. Oh no, you're right. Better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. <laughs> I ask the questions about the case. What else do you want to know? About this hole. Tell me about your hole, Bernie. The noise is coming from this hole. I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs, I'm just letting you know, but it does seem like the noise is coming from this hole. Aren't from a natural creature, they do seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird call, but only sometimes. That's a lot of good information, thank you, Bernie. I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. I don't. I don't know what you mean, Bernie. I'm not a secret agent. No. Uh -huh. What else do you want to do? Uh, can I have your pasta? You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Oh, uh, secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. Sure you're not. I like it when Bernie winks at me. My hole also makes otherworldly, unnatural noises sometimes. <laughs> but that's because you keep eating chili, Tavilius! Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass, there's nothing I want more. Oh, you want my magnifying glass for your pasta? I like my magnifying glass, though. Give me your, give me your pasta. I want, I want a pasta. You know what, mate? 
I ain't no average man. <laughs> Bernie just wants to be able to do this. Bernie, can I have your pesto? Yeah, it's not mine. All right, Bernie's not gonna be. I know, I want to keep it, because, like, look at all these fun things I can do with the magnifying glass. It makes things seem like they're nearer to me. Oh, I'm steal I've am i got to steal someone else's magnifying glass. <laughs> Stop right there! I, I can't. I don't think I, I don't think I give up with that, lads. I gotta be sure of that. I guess not. I'm only for Jonas Mom. All right. Are you still gonna stand like that? Yeah. Why? You can just imagine that that's his voice. All right. I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I am protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Stop summoning the demons. <laughs> Don't mean to be rude, but what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. There is the truth. I had to get this one specially made up for my tiny shells. My tiny... Sorry. <laughs> that was inappropriate. <coughs> Feeling a little bit less motion sick now, Brad. <laughs> it's nice, nice not having to find Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> you know anything about that cave? No. Alright, not even sure it's a cave, just looks like a pile of rocks if you ask me. I guess we'll have to disagree. Agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato! Nobody pronounces it like potato. I thought Americans pronounced it like potato. You guys not? Because you say tomato. Tomato and t potato. Ah, I'd love some potato in my pa pasta. Y'all. <laughs> okay, tiny shells. I've got a big shell if you'd like it. Pota potato. Potato, mate. Got a potato, mate. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? You fool! You were a fool! Just that there may be many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? I, I do, I do. It's in my pocket. I got a big shell in my pocket and I'm willing to share it. A big shell if you want. Yeah. You want to see my big shell? Give me your magnifying glass and I'll show you the big shell. Yes, I'll swap. I'll, yes, give me the magnifying glass. I don't need to read all of this. Give, give me the magnifying glass, sir. Here's the magnifying glass. Thank you. I'll leave him. I'll leave, leave him be. You know, I don't think those shells exist. In place. Right. So I've got a magnifying glass now to give to Bernie. Bernie, I will trade you this magnifying glass for your pasta. You just happen to see me. Bernie, his magnifying glass. Interested, are you kidding? There's a l very literally nothing I want more. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Give me your pasta. Give me, give me your pasta, Bernie. Could I give you my lunch? What's cooking? Good looking? Pasta, as always. I say pasta because I'm American. Pasta. If there's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. Whatever, would you like this pasta? No, it's a bear. It's not a koala. The koala's in the sea drowning. We got some pasta. 
We should give it to our mum. Mum. There you go, there's the koala. He's happy about it. He might be drowning, but he's happy about it. Right, do we want to talk to the sloth that looks very slightly constipated, or the mouse? There he is! There he was again! Kind of looked like an otter, right? A while ago. Hello! Hello! Oh, I've basically given them the same voice. Oh, are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, I've just never talked to the detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. If I'm embarrassing, that would be very bad. Like he's peeking into the girls' locker room. How would you know what that looks like then? Oh, I'm Thank you. How are you doing? Now tell, what do you want? Get, yeah, let me answer my questions. Constipated, I'm afraid. You're nervous. Tell me why you're nervous. It's a bit sus fucking suspicious that you're nervous. Ah, because the detective thing I told you. Um, I'm afraid of detectives. I don't trust him. Maybe when I was a kid I had a bad dream about a detective. Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you so afraid of me? Is it because you're a criminal? Fine, you've worn me down, damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Oh. He's a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool out of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat. Oh, it's romance. It's romance. And I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Is there anything I can do to help? There's a dance competition. No, I'm not dancing. I'm not dancing. Could I ask Mystery Monkey what kind of dance they would like? You'll give me your mouthwash. I don't want. I don't want your old mouthwash. I want someone's used mouthwash. Did we need mouthwash to make a bomb? We did. Hello, Mystery Monkey. Tell me. Can you tell me what dance you like? I can't remember what voice I gave him. Do you like dancing? I don't understand. Which is... I like dancing a lot if that's what you're asking. What kind of dancing? Basically have one move. <laughs> In what scenario? Would you most likely be like, this is such a great dance if you saw someone dancing? Mine would be a, like a kind of classical dance. Or waltz or something. Break dancing with breakdancing is so neat. If I saw someone break dancing, I would swoon. I'd be so deeply impressed. It is definitely very important to the case. The case where I'm making a bomb. It was toothpaste. Toothpaste, mouthwash, potato, potato, I suppose. That's interesting, but I, but I sure don't care. care. Gullix, thank you very much. Gullix, how are you? <gasps> How's your date? How was your date, Gullix? How was the date? Monkey really likes dancing. Really likes break dancing. Did mention you? Did you, Elvin? Did you? What made you stop? We sat and talked for three hours. Oh, that it went really well. That went really well, right? That means it went, went, went really well. Oh. So it's supposed to be a lunch date. What did you have to eat as well? What did you? What did you go for off the menu? Well, I like romance and food, so. Didn't mention you. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. I have black bean burgers. Ooh. We're talking about, um, there's another romance plot going on. Mo really likes Mystery Monkey. And Mo wants to impress Mystery Monkey. 
and Mo could only impress Mystery Monkey by dancing, so we found out from Mystery Monkey what kind of dance Mystery Monkey likes. So we're now telling Mo that Mystery Monkey likes break dancing. One for the ladies. One for the ladies. And we got some mouthwash as well, that looks. So extra for the ladies. Now we won't have sticky breath for the ladies. <laughs> God, thank you. Oh, I'm so glad. When are you, when are you going to see each other again? I'm so nosy. I'm so sorry. I'm <laughs> so nosy. Like, tell me everything. When are you going to propose? <laughs> I'm like a mum. I'm like a nosy mum. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective here from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible. Oh, I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess you just don't look so spooky. I'll do my best not to look so spooky. Sorry, I'm cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. <laughs> Are you gonna give Batch a crash? Don't know when we'll hang out again. She said she wants to take. Oh, did you want a picnic? <laughs> oh, that's so much fun! That's so much fun. Does she have any pets? <laughs> My really intrusive questions. Let's save a ton on taxes. Pets did not come up. Make sure it does next time. I need to know. Yeah, Mo's really going for it. <laughs> that's how I dance. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's how I dance. Can I ask, what's hitting the gritty? Sorry. <laughs> Is that a, what's, what's hitting the gritty, lads? I've heard people say we're hitting the gritty. <laughs> Is Mo hitting the gritty? Would, it, would that be correct in saying? Wow, Mo's hitting the gritty. When I got there here, th when I got here, there was nobody else on the island except for me and Finley, so I thought it was fine to declare myself as king. Don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance conversation. Yeah, I bet, I bet Finley's the snake. The gritty is a dance. <laughs> it's a dance move. Don't ask me how to do it. <laughs> hey, what the Charles spoons. But what's the gritty? <laughs> how does one hit the gritty? The gritty is a dance move in which a person alternately taps their heels, either in place or while walking, while swinging their arms back and forth. Okay, I can do that. I think I think I could hit the gritty. And it's some, something like that. Am I am I hitting the gritty? <laughs> Is grandma dancing, Mads? <laughs> right, who's uh, tell, tell me about the dance competition. I'll hit the gritty for you. You mentioned a dance competition, can you tell me a little bit more? It's tomorrow, anything else? Best dancer wins. Well, you know I just learned the gritty. <laughs> Am I doing it, children? Am I hitting the gritty? <laughs> you mentioned your friend Finley. Who's that? Finley lives on a nearby island that comes to visit every few days. Okay. She was talking about the song she wanted to dance to for the competition. She'll probably win. She's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete with this whole spooky situation going on. Got any more questions? Tell me about the noises. How do you hit the grundle? <laughs> I'll see you in a minute, Lost. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Can you tell me about the noises? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. 
I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide, Foolproof Ways to Detect a Spirit. I've read most of it. Anyway, in the book, it says that most ghosts can be seen. Can't be seen. And get this. I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. Got questions for me? Your nerves. Tell me about your nerves. You seem super nervous. Is there anything you can do to help? It is the, just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too because I usually love hearing <laughs> stories about ghosts. I've read all about them on the cyberweb.com. But now I'm living one. Living in a ghost story. How tragic. We'll probably die before this mystery is solved. We'll probably die before you solve this. Okay, I'm ready to leave now. Sarah, it's been lovely talking to you. Yeah, really lovely. I'll find the culprit. Everything will be alright. Ghosts are very scary, and now I would like to I'd like to leave. Oh, we're imagining. We're imagining we're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. Waves slowly move in and then out. It is a safe beach. That sounds fucking suspicious, doesn't it? The very safe white van with candy in the back of it. There's a ghost here. This isn't a safe beach. That's true. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? The ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yep. Nice sandy beach. Just me and the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great, me too. Now let's go hit the gritty. Oh! Got a chunk of... That's like, that's like a million dollars he just gave me. Made of pure gold. I like gold. Fair enough. Like I just asked Elon Musk, why did you make that make make that out of gold? And he's like, I just, I like gold. Okay. Now I'm gonna borrow it for the bomb. Don't mind me. Who's who said they needed bits for a bomb? Was it you? Was it was it you that wanted the bomb? Noodle. I don't think I've spoken to Noodle. How's it hanging, bro? I guess I'm just bored mostly. All right. That's suspicious. Yeah, being bored is very suspicious. No rule against it. Not being suspicious. You are being suspicious. Sorry for calling you suspicious. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, not now though. I've been at this point the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Oh, sheep. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Can I have some of your wool, please? That's a bit personal. I haven't heard of trim in ages. Split ends everywhere. Usually get a cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. So gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings, but there's wool everywhere. I think everyone's grossed out by it. Ugh! Wool! Most people like wool. It's used for so it is. Uh, bombs. For one, it's used for bombs. My jumper. Weird that you're wearing my hair. Do you think that's the first thing that sheep would say if they could talk? That it's weird that we wear their hair? I think it might be something that they bring up. Well, it's pretty gross, that's why I keep mine short. What if you wore a coat made of your slime? Gross, right? Slime is kind of gross anyway. Someone who's really very slimy. <laughs> wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard of someone wearing wool. The shirt you're wearing is wool. I don't know, it looks kind of like a cotton blend, I would say. He's seen some things. He's seen some things done to some wool and he does it. He thinks they're gross. Like a broom. I don't want to. I, I, I've got a broom. <laughs> Can I 
keep a wool is still weird. I like it because it smells like you noodle. Know. Got wool. Lovely lads. When I get lonely, Noodle, I'm going to smell it so that I know that you're close to me. Right, who said they wanted a bomb? <laughs> Was it you, Larry? You wanted a bomb? Hey, Larry. Larry, I think I got all the stuff you needed. Give you the list of ingredients. All right. Toothpaste. Some wool. A chunk of pure gold. It's a pasta. I think I got it all right. Toothpaste. Oh. How do I... I need to... Alright. Toothpaste. I've got mouthwash. Which is toothpaste adjacent. Oh! I bet you look... You look like someone who's got some toothpaste. You look... <laughs> Toothpaste shipment? Uh, uh, no. I'm, I'm detected. Oh, okay. Can I call you d -tech? He said howdy, so I gotta go with the sudden bell voice for now. Yes. I have some questions. Is that okay? Take it away, d -tech. Uh, I'll smile. Never smile at a crocodile. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. Thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smiles, 101 toothpaste whitening cool paste for teeth, of course. Not sponsored. Dr. Tight Smiles, 101 toothpaste cool white, uh, whitening cool paste for teeth. Paint me like one of your French crocodiles. I get a shipment here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. I'm down in my last tube. Where can I get some of my own? Do... Do you have teeth? Yeah, not ones you can see. Ah, uh, well, I could give you my tube, but I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. Uh, would you like my mouthwash? Some mouthwash for you. Amazing, thanks! I almost forgot. Here you go, d -tech. Got toothpaste, lovely jubbly. <laughs> Why does he go back to laying like that? <laughs> oh, jeez. Hello, Mr. Lobster. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow, you got everything? Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? Yes. I'll cook up some dynamite and we can get exploded, baby. Well, this is it. Time to blow this cave up. Larry, explosives are dangerous. Sorry. <laughs> Time to carefully blow this cave up. Don't do this at home, kids. I don't like... What sad music in the background? Do you think Larry's gonna... Is this... Is this Larry's death flag? Good luck. Off, look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. I feel like we should hold hands with Larry while this is going on. Did we just hit the gritty? I think we did. <laughs> Nice. It's like Minecraft. 
yearn for the mines. Why do I feel like every time I look around I'm gonna see you know that like that weird like otter thing that was following us around? Oh it's the music. Oh Who is this? Look at those moves! That's the gritty lads! You just gotta shuffle your feet while you shuffle your arms. Whee! Oh, hi! Who are you? No, I don't think so. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's great. You're not wrong. Wonderful that you're not a dead spirit. A dead spirit possessing a body. Who are you? Oh, I... Uh, Fiddly. You see right here, Mr. Frog. The detective. Do we have a name? I don't think we've got a name. Are we just Frog? Fiddly. I know that name. She's not flossing. I could floss. I could floss really well. Your Martin's friend. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. Three weeks. Two weeks. Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? Just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? Kill them. But if there are ghosts, they're already dead. He reads those, all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every cre crevice. It's good for me, the perfect spot to train. Been dancing for two weeks straight. You gotta do what you gotta do to win the competition, Frog. I take naps and these mushrooms are super nutritious. Getting high and dancing. Hate having ghosts in my crevice. Fact. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what those noises could be? I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could have easily traveled up to the surface. I bet it sounds super warped too. You know you've been trapped in here, right? The cave's been blocked off by rocks. Really? That's so funny! He could have died. Ha ha ha! Then I'd actually be a ghost. Yeah. This is so awkward. Ha ha ha! Anyway, we should head out back up to the island. Yep! <laughs> Who wrote this game? Why is every interaction so, like, awkward? Finley has the big hands as well. Finley? Hi, Martin! Look at them! What are you doing here? I was in the cave! You... How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks, to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. Noise from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. My ghost books. I was so sure it was a ghost. Just me. Just goes to show you should never trust books. Hear that, kids? Hear that? Everything written in books? Lie. It's a lie. Books are a lie. Never trust a book, right? Always use the internet instead. Write that down. Books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Books are for nerds. Hi there, apologies for the interruption. I hope you are enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information. But make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. 
So anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. We should just burn them. Shouldn't we guys? We should just we should get all the books and we should burn them. If we don't need them. Sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening up my eyes to the uselessness of books. That was better right there, I'm pretty sure that looked just like <laughs> Just cause she had glasses. Bad humour. But Greg, you never laugh at my jokes. You were practicing for the competition this whole time. In it to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Can we can we enter and hit the gritty? Greg, Greg, I don't know if you if you found if you were here, but I learned what hitting the gritty was. I'll show you after stream. I'll teach it to you. One of the ghost scientists. Don't worry about. Don't worry about the, what a ghost scientist is. I think we need more entrants. A few hardworking friends who could use a good booty, but they won't be here tomorrow. Let's move the competition to today. Yeah. Yeah. Before we dance, I just want to say thanks for solving the mystery, detective. Is that a ghost? <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Oh yeah, you want to hit the? <laughs> no, I can't even. I can't even say it. Hit the gritty with your mum tonight. <laughs> Give my thanks to Larry too. Did I do the first case? Am I already done? Oh my god. We finished it, lads. I don't know what I just... What did I... judging I'll do it oh do I get to pick a winner oh I had I did I have to admit I did think there would be a little bit more detecting in frog detective um <laughs> you guys want to judge who wins we gotta get we gotta give it to the mouse. Right? I feel like, you know, the mouse is here to romance. He's kinda killing it, yeah. That's not the best moves. I don't know, I quite like Larry if I'm being serious. I think he had it. Oh! Oh, it's me! I win. I give it to myself. I judge myself the winner. I'm the winner. Oh! <gasps> I feel like I gotta give it a mo because I gotta foster the romance, right? I'm I'm here to I'm here to support the romance. Oh, see, like he got loads of roses to give to his beloved as well. No, we couldn't pick ourselves. No nepotism for us. Wave. 
Oh, not finished. And then they all starved to death and became the ghosts. Frog Detective, Crime Solving Agency, Frog Detective speaking, how may I help you? Detective! Supervisor, great work on the Haunted Island mystery. Thank you, I tried really hard. I don't even think Lobster Cop would have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Where did you, where did you see that? It was on TV, every channel. In HD? I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about your dancing, but I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, detective? I can handle anything. The case of the invisible wizard. I felt very sick, sister. Felt very sick. I had to stop. And everyone to be fair, everyone else everyone else felt sick as well. I think we I think we Oh look at the doggy! Oh look at that little nugget. I don't think there's anything else, but we will load up. We want to load up the next game. <laughs> Having a bit of a bit of pick and mix today. It is um, so the entirety of the three games for everyone who was asking. Full price. Uh, let me have a look on Steam. Now she sat right in front of the aircon unit. Uh, it is twelve pounds for the entirety of the three. If you want to play some cards, we could play the next game, or we could play some cards. I um, I don't know. I don't know which. To, I don't know which to pick. I. <laughs> This badger game's done quick. Anything but cars. <laughs> what do you think about the second there? Uh, the second one, Greg. Mary Kay and Ashley. Oh, I don't have any. I don't have um my any of my um retro consoles plugged uh, plugged in. Awkward dialogue or cars. I mean, I know it's a really difficult one. To, difficult ones to choose between, right? Um, <laughs> Greg, cars is part of the brand. It's a brand, Greg. It's brand choice. Could chow. Roses are red, violets are blue. Why play cars when we can just watch Suzu? <laughs> Do you want this to be the entirety of the stream? We just we just watch her. She's managed to stick her head under a pillow, so it feels a bit darker, so that she can get a deeper sleep. Suzy. Suzy. Oh. Sweetheart, hi! Hi, love. Here you go. What a baby. Mother, do you have any snacks for me? Can I have a snack? Oh, Well, I could, we could play, play the next problem detective. Could brush your teeth. I'm not brushing your teeth on stream. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not giving Susan. I'm not giving her a toothbrush on stream. Okay. 
as a text game where you're meddy for torture trying to get out of stuff. Oh! Old games that you couldn't make today. I, you know, there's a VR game. Um, VR Executioner. Where you get to be, um... <laughs> you get to be a... You get to be an executioner in <laughs> VR. I was really tempted to play because I thought it would be hilarious. Um, but I don't. I didn't know whether it was actually. Uh, no, we won't play VR. No, no, no. I'm not set up for it or anything. I, I, and I would vomit. I'm still not. I'm still not feeling great. Um, give her a dental bone, so she has a dentist stick every day. She gets her teeth brushed almost every day. Flight Simulator doesn't have it installed. That, that, that got uninstalled immediately because it's so large. Like, as soon as I finished Dead Eye Survivor, I uninstalled it as well. Fly from Paris to Berlin. I'm being suggested another game by Greg. Greg suggested Sorcery. No, I felt really sick playing at Rain Man. We had to stop. I felt sick and everyone else also felt sick. Epic adventure in a land of monsters, traps and magic, journey across the deadly uh, Chamonte Hills and through Kier yeah, City Port of Thieves, armed with your sword and over 50 spells with weird, wonderful effects, embark on the narrative adventure with a thousand choices where everyone is remembered. That sounds kind of cool. Have it on my phone, very fun. Part one is a great foundation for the game. Part two, maybe not one of pie. Part three and part four, so I'll leave this game forever. I'm just reading the reviews for it. Oh, it looks quite tricky. It looks quite thinky. I'm watching the, <laughs> watching the trailer for it. I'll see you later, Loss. I'll see you later. Good luck with the errands. I'll see you tomorrow. Paris to Chicago. Oh, Urban. What did they say about giving you an upgrade? Lot of reading. Greg just wants me to do more reading than play cars. Have I got all this game ready? <laughs> Have I got all this game ready? No, I haven't got any horse games. I was going to get Mary Kay and Ashley yet. And uh, at some point. This is a very cobbled together stream. Sorry, lads. Thank you very much for bearing with. Sonic Adventures 2 has been on our, uh, been on our schedule for a while, so I'm thrown. I'm thrown that we... <laughs> we couldn't make it through. Yeah, is, um, is Sorcery read to you? Or is, uh, or would I have to read it all? Myself. Mm. Let me see if I can download it. Not for my phone, don't know about the versions, alright. Let me download it and see. Uh, reading is a, like, is a, is a, is a bit of a strain on the old voice box, especially if I'm not feeling a hundred percent. I don't mind, I don't mind reading. No. Um, I don't mind reading too much. Oh. Not the one talking to them about vouchers, that's the way. That way I can, uh, can't ask the wrong questions and can't forget to ask stuff. She might, though. No reading in cars, that's... Very true. Um, I can't tell if it's sweet. There's nothing online if it says it's voice acting. I've heard um, Barbie Detective is pretty good as well. Was an adventure book first, you know, flip to page. Oh my god, flip to page 23 for choice three. Well, Sonic 2 be. It probably will be abandoned if I'm honest. It, like, I can't. I can't imagine us going back to Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, 
Let me let me uh, load up sorcery and see what it's uh, like. Oh. Thank you. Part one. Let's turn off the music and see whether this. Yes, yeah, a bit different than the game that will not be a. Uh, will not be named. So we'll never see that shadow run. So I wouldn't mind doing a little bit of the shadow one. It's just I couldn't. I. Oh, it is like it's begin your adventure and stuff. Oh god, it started! I didn't think that it was gonna start! Oh shit, um... <laughs> Do you guys wanna give this a go? We'll give it a go. I did start it, that was- I did, I did. Um, I just thought that it wasn't gonna, you know, wasn't gonna throw me into it straight away. I did press the start game button, that is very true. This is, uh, this is sorcery. Let me get the, uh, let me give you a bit of a, a background. An epic adventure in a land of monsters, traps, and magic journey across the deadly Shamultanulti Hills and through care. City port of thieves, armed with your sword and over 50 spells with weird and wonderful effects, embark on a narrative adventure of a thousand choices where everyone is remembered. Let's, uh, let's see how this goes. The horses. Nice music though, eh? Um, don't know what to call the stream. Uh, that'll do. Alright, let's have a little go. You have walked the winds of Kakhabad. This is going to be great to see if I can pronounce everything. Through care and the spiteful backlands. All the way to Mampang, you have survived traps, thieves, serpents, and vengeful gods, and now it is here, the crown of kings. It is said that the crown was never forged, only found by Shalana, the reformer, a lowly foot soldier who became emperor of the eastern world. Such is the power of the crown. The air around it crackles with influence. I am an influencer, so I should take it, right? Right, need to, yeah, I'm an influencer, we'll take it. Your destiny awaits with a crown in your hands. You will be as powerful as Chalalana. The goblins are arming. The giants are walking, waking. <laughs> and the birdmen. Government spies birdmen. Carve, uh, carving cruel daggers from stone. War will come, but you will prevent it. But then the image of the crown begins to flicker. You rush forwards. It's a trap. It's a trap. You startle yourself awake. You are alone, exhausted, in a little hut in the outpost settlement. Your unimaginable journey is not even a single step begun. It looks nice, doesn't it? Take spells back to the King's Quest 3 method. Had to type the vocal components of the spell and type it exactly correct. Oh... Oh, I hated that, because I'm really bad at spelling. Click your character to continue. It's sunrise. You dress, breakfast, 
on bread and goat's milk and collect the pack and sword from beside your bed. Well, we pray the sonic cry. We pray for luck. Before you leave, you close your eyes and <laughs> raise a prayer to your spirit guide. This morning, it has the form of a panther, but what will it become once your journey truly begins? A great calm descends on you. Outside the hut, you hear the outpost settlement stirring the life. Breakfast on me, it was delicious bread. Made it all the more delicious. Let's test the blade. You, oh, fuck, why not, why not eat something? You pause to test the blade for sword against your thumb. The blacksmith has done well. The edge is keen and draws a narrow line of blood. Lovely. Time then to depart. You lift back the flap of the hut and step into the early morning sunshine. Your path to the flag. What is bread if not an edible plate, eh? Eyes follow you as you leave the hut and walk towards the great Shamunti wall. Sham Shamunti wall. The frontiers people of this tiny settlement are well aware of your mission. Greet them. Ignore them. Are we polite or are we rude? My social anxiety would mean that I would have to greet them, so... You turn to them and bow. Some smile in reply, but are too afraid to approach. Others make gestures of protection. You're going beyond the wall, so they believe you to be cursed. A man is waiting on the path to the Cantopani Gate, the final doorway between anal and... That's what I read that as. I read... <laughs> Analand. Not anal. The wilds of Kakabad. You recognize the sergeant of the Sight Master Warriors. He holds out his hand. Greetings. I'm not going to be rude. I've got social anxiety. I can't be rude. Greetings, sergeant. He touches his forehead with two. <laughs> <Ain't no word. laughs> he touches his forehead with two fingers. You are almost ready, my lady. He says, "I have a gift. Uh, I have for you a gift from the king's king. Twenty-four gold pieces. It is all we can spare at this time." He holds out a pouch. I drank it. I wouldn't take half. I'd take all of it. You accept the gift, gift graciously. Thank you. You should buy some supplies before you pass the wall. The sergeant says, and you must collect your spell book if you wish to aid. You wish magic to aid you. Finally, you should wish to practice your swords play. I've. I would go one last round with you. Oh, sergeant, not right here. As he points with his staff towards the training ground. Right, um, where do we want to go? Buy spellbook, buy rations, then training ground? I say we go rations, spellbook, training ground. Small traders in the supply, uh, settlement supply, the site warriors with their weapons, armor, food, and clothing. You go over to the sergeant. Anonymous, anonymous, thank you very much. The gifting a sub to anal landers, thank you very much. Anal Landers, I'm so s sorry for your unfortunate name. <laughs> Thank you very much, Anal Let me finish my, my snack. No one wants to hear me talk with my mouth full. I had thought that there would be some music as I talk with my mouth full. Um, I can put on some music while we're playing. I have thought that there would be some epic music. Um, you could go with some lo-fi. It doesn't feel super appropriate, but... I guess it's better than, like, hype music. Ambient. The only music during combat. Try this ambient. That's 
quite nice. It's quite like quite mystical, right? You go over with the sergeant to uh, with the sergeant to a stall selling flatbreads and cheese, two gold pieces per ration. Ooh, haggle. We're gonna haggle. Anonymous, thank you so much for giving this sub to Analyst. <laughs> poor, poor Analyst. Poor, poor. Do you know who I am? I'm Analan's. <laughs> Why are we Analan? I'm Analan's great new hope. You tell him. The man looks uncomfortable. I know that. But I have to feed my family today, whatever happens to the crown. How many rations should I get? I've got two gold. Mm. You check your pack, there's room for plenty inside. I'll take four. I'll take four. That, like, that seems reasonable. I'll take four. I'll take four. Four rations is eight gold pieces, says the man holding out a hand. I'll just buy them. You hand over your coins and the man places four rations carefully into your pack. You must be sure you'll eat every day or you'll suffer, the sergeant tells you, standing to, at your side. Eating more will give you extra strength, but it's not necessary. We might always come back- oh, we can't go back there. One of the huts, set slightly back from the others, is decorated with glyphs and strange symbols. A terrible smell emanates from its doorway. This is the hut of the chief mage. He's been preparing your spellbook for days, reading star charts to work out which spells will be available to you in the different locations on the hills beyond. You lift the flap and go inside. The mage looks at you with her haggard, sleepless eyes and presses the book into your hands. Do you understand how to use this? He asks. Tell me. Tell me! Each spell is crafted through alignment of three stars, he begins. The spell Zap, for example, is made by aligning the Zaruth... Zarathrustra, <laughs> Aeugus, and Pini, or Pini. But that is not important. What matters is the, what the spell is called and what it does. Zap will give you control over lightning. Hot will create a fireball. Foff will create a force field around you. Shall I continue? Fred, is it an interesting game and like, oh, that's interesting? Or is it an interesting game with like, oh, that's really interesting? Tell me more, I suppose. Tell me more, the mage nods. The law spell from Lilith. Are you uh, Argus? Is that how you pronounce that? Argus and Wex will allow you to control the will from unintelligent creatures. The wall spell. Is quite different and uses different stars. The order matters. You see, wall creates an invisible barrier. You will find the rest in the book. He adds, tapping the leather-bound volume. I don't. I don't really want to know more, but the mage looks surprised. Well, dop spell is useful for locks. Walk will shield you in battle, and dumb will cause clumsiness. He scratches his absent. He scratches absently as his ear. Remember, some spells will cost you effort to use, but the ones that don't will work without focus. Will not work without focus. An item of some kind. You will need to read the book to know them. This person really wants you out of their heart. Look, they shouldn't have kept offering me advice then. Yeah, it really is kind of neat, isn't it, Brad? It's kind of neat. No, like, interesting, like, oh, god, yeah, that's interesting, you know, kind of like, oh, interesting, or like, oh, interesting. You walk with the sergeant to the training ground, and he wraps the base of his staff in leather, ready my sword. To begin, the sergeant says, we will practice the stances first, defend yourself against me. Choose your attack power by dragging your sideways to defend, stay fully left, oh, stabby, stabby. Defend yourself. Okay. The Sightmaster is a powerful enemy. By defending, you will receive the minimum damage from an attack he makes. The Sightmaster Sergeant chooses a strong attack. You turn away with minimum impact. My next attack will be weak, he declares. You will be able to overpower me by playing a stronger attack, but be sure your attack is stronger. You play a strong attack, overpowering the Sightmaster Sergeant who tries low, careful attack. Overpowering a weak attack is 
easy, so you should aim to use as little power as possible. My next attack will be of medium strength, he declares. You may be able to overpower it if you wish to try. No, it's alright, I'll defend. You defend yourself, the Sightmaster attempts a medium attack, but you receive only a small amount of damage. My next attack will be low. Oof. It's nice that he tells me before. You chose powerful attacks, beating the Sightmaster, uh, Sightmaster Sergeant. He bows, you finished me. Excellent. Finished me. Alright. Skilled sword play. You seem to remember the basics, the Sergeant says breathlessly. Good, another round. Nah, it's looking enough. You shake your head. Very good, the sergeant agrees. But if you wish a wish about in earnest, then I warn you, I will not go easy on you. He indicates the wider yard where there is space for a true match. Yeah, like, there's that's interesting, or that's interesting, but I sure don't care kind of thing. You should look at the spells before you try casting. Some only require stamina, others will use coin or special item. Can you take my gold as well? That's a... Uh, I guess that's fine. You ho head over to the yard to practice a bout of real fighting. The sergeant removes the cloth padding from the base of his staff. Unsheat my sword. This time I will not tell you my intentions, he says. You will have to read them for yourself. Be ready. Alright, I'm just going I'm charging in. Oh, nice! No. The sight master smiles at you. He raises his staff in salute and takes his position. You feel the weight of your sword... Then bring up to deliver a mighty stroke like a bell ringer sounding a gong. The sergeant covers himself. He is left breathless, but not seriously hurt. Right, I'm gonna defend. You drop yourself into a crouch. His light bows flows, sails over your head. You escape mostly uninjured. His eyes follow your shoulders. He is probably about to defend himself. You realize that with a strong hit would be wasteful now. You hold a firm and uh, you hold firm and keep up your defense. He hangs back and watches in you in return. His guard is coming up, conserving his energy so that his next strike can be stronger. And interesting. <laughs> you circle around him at arm's length and he circles away. You pace around him carefully as he tries to deep bash, but you duck fast work, he grunts. You are largely unhurt. I don't know why I decided to defend again. Afraid to try me, he goads. His attack whizzes past you on your left-hand side. You escape mostly unharmed. He watches your footwork closely, and you observe. Uh, you hear observers in the gathered. Uh, you hear observers in the gathered crowd murmuring expectation. Do they expect a violent blow from him or from you? We go mid. Let's go charge. Time to attack, you rush forward with a deep, heavy slash, but the impact clangs against his defending staff and you only lay a minor wound. He shows his teeth, I saw that coming, he laughs as he pushes aside your sword stroke, suffering only a minor wound. You see his arm grows tense, he is ready for a strong attack. You whip up your defenses as he powers forward with a cry, only to tire- oh, it only tires him out, you are largely uninjured. Oh, I didn't mean to defend that. You stay steady, keep up your defensive swing, flashes over your head, you escape mostly unhurt. Acting quickly, you sweep your sword across his body with a powerful force, but the blow... I, I think I'm doing this... I think I'm doing this very badly. You ready yourself to a block as he tries a heavy wallop. You don't have to read it. <laughs> Then, Greg, what am I supposed to do? It's all reading! Ay, ay, ay! Alright, let's try. I win. Leaping into action, you rush forward with a masterful slash. It is enough to finish him. The Sightmaster throws down his staff. You have. You have me, he declares with a grin. The sergeant is gasping for breath. He blow out bows to you once more. You were too slow, he declares, shaking his head. I will tell the king to ready another champion for you will not survive long. As he talks, a nearby healer hurries over with a salve, and your health and sergeants is quickly restored.
He reached for the foot of the mighty gate. It is sealed. The sergeant places one hand on the wood. The gate has been locked for some time. It deters raiders, he tells you. But you have no difficulty. The stairs, stars in this place will allow the dop spell to be crafted. And he stands back. Click the letters to find a spell. Yep. You weave the spell one by one. The great tumblers of the door begin to creak and groan. Then hinges turn with noise like hail on canvas roof. On a canvas roof, these gates have not opened since our last champion was lost. The sergeant says, "I wish you more luck than he. Perhaps you will even meet him on your travels." I fear he is dead. I am sure he is dead. The sight master nods, peering at something on the horizon. I believe he is returning, but transformed. I hope you do not meet the same fate. He stares. So excited! I skip the next. Yeah, the music's nice, isn't it? Is it too loud or is it all right? All right. Yeah, a blizzard barrier. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Is that what Activision said when it pulled out Blizzard? Tootsie, how are you doing today? Together you step into the shadow of the wall. One last word, he declares. When you have the crown, find the highest point you can find. We will be watching. I understand. I would not wish you a safe journey to care. The way ahead will not be safe, the sergeant murmurs as he peers into the distance through an open gate. The Sightmaster's warriors are selected from birth for their incredible powers of telescopic vision. You cannot help but wonder how far he can see. Tell me what lies ahead. This path leads you first to Can uh, Cantopani, a settlement of traders, though most are rogues and thieves. You should be there before the sun has reached its peak. From there, three routes lead you to Christian uh, Christianity, but no route. It's no single route is safe. Kakabad is the land of devils. And beyond care? I cannot see so far, he says. But once you have crossed the city port of traps, you will be in the backlands. They say that day and night there are controlled by forces that are other than the sun, and from care too, your progress will be watched. It is time to go. Striding away, you pass through the gate, and the fates of the folk watching your departure reveal the hopes that the rest of you, uh, the rest on you in your quest. An early morning air is crisp, and the rising sun paints the slopes in shades of peaceful beauty, concealing the evil that lies ahead. That's a year and a half. Oh, Tootie! Forever a weenie. Forever a weenie too. The path winds through the slopes of the scrubland. Hey, look, guys, it's where you're, where you're all from. Scrubs. Now yeah, the countryside is deserted by the eerie silence and is broken up by the cawing of the occasional crow. There is a spell for hearing what they say, but you do not have the equipment it requires. The birds appear to pause in the air to examine you as they pass. They make you uneasy as if you were an intruder in their presence. Barely an hour beyond the wall and the air begins to grow foul. The Sha, Sha Mu Tanti hills are infested with the pestilence of the backlands. It saps the energy from your body, leaving you feeling nauseous and weak. You cover your mouth with your neck staff, but it does no good. They warned you of this. You will grow accustomed to it the longer you're out here, but for the moment you must be careful. Maximum stamina decreased. Uh, travel cross country or... Going forward, I guess. Another hour passes and you crest a small hillock. From the top... Uh, from the top of which you can see the path continuing downwards into a small settlement of huts. This must be Canto Pani. From the distance, it is hard to make out how much of the town, except that uh, much, much about the town, except that it must be desperately poor. The fields on either side are brown and caked with mud. The few penned animals are thin and wizened like thirsty vines. No wonder the site master warriors don't trouble themselves to protect this place. There is nothing here to protect. And the warriors are there. I think, uh, oh shit, did I just say keep going? I kind of want to go back. Uh, going, uh. 
avoid the village. Let's avoid the village, shall we? We've got enough rations to avoid the village. Perhaps it is the way to the sergeant to describe the town, or perhaps it is simply a feeling in your gut. Either way, you leave the path and head off through the scrub, walking perhaps a mile or so out of your way to avoid the town. From the top of the rise, you get a good view of the land ahead across the Simso uh, River. The river cuts a slash across the land, protecting the Canto Pani from the dangers of the far bank. There is another village of rough huts on the on that side, and even from here, you can see the sharp poles that spike from the earth between the buildings, a common sight in villages of headhunters. It is a place best avoided if you value your neck. Looking east, there is a glimmer of blue, the sea. Below the shoreline are the caves of Dadule, a place they say is haunted by spirits. Watch your gizzard. Watch out for your blizzard, you gizzard. Investigate the caves? Or keep walking? I feel like I just want to, I just want to keep walking. I don't... <laughs> If you go into the caves, why not? Go into the, have a look in the caves. The cliffs of the Kakbad Sea are too intriguing. You have never before left Analand, and now the draw of the legendary spot is too strong. They say the first wizards grew from cracks in the rocks of these caves and were tugged out by salamanders. They say that the tunnels move as if the moon moves. They say the wind play. They're saying a lot of stuff. They say the wind plays a song as it blows past the entrances and that this, so so this song will make anyone fall in love with you if they sing it. If you sing it. It's all nonsense. It is all nonsense, of course, but the tales have to draw, have a draw on you all the same. You set off across the foothills and quickly reach the edge of the cliff. Below, sea spray pounds the beach hundreds of feet down. The view into the distance goes on forever and a day. Look out across the sea. Wind whips at your tunic and pulls at your hair as you stand on the very lip of the cliff and look across the endless ocean. This is the far east, and they say the sea runs to the edge of the world and then runs away like a bear, a beer, like a bear, like a beer brimming over the lip of a tankard. They say the pull. Of that flow is like an endless tide that carries men's hearts and eyes with wistful desire. Each of us would fly east if we could. But there is no, uh, there are no cave mounds up here on the cliff top. You look about for an entrance and see nothing except the very edge of the cliff, a shallow lip of a scree, and beside it, a rock covered in a strange, in strange markings. A flock of gulls spins in the sky above you, screaming and calling. You squat down to the clear to clear the moss away from the marked rock. It is inscribed with a riddle. This is the way to the sor the sorcerers went, and this is the way called the wizard's descent. Forward he stepped to prove what he meant. Then he fell. Then he floated, and so did not repent. Reminds me of a D and D stream. Oh yeah, that's kind of it does kind of right. There's a bear. In, there's a bear in my tankard. A gust of wind threatens to pull you over the cliff edge. Step over the lip. Step over the lip. Well then, you set off looking for adventure and here one is. The wizard's descent will you take it step off the cliff. Murmuring a quick prayer to the fox, your spirit. Uh, you close your eyes and step forward. Once, twice, and then your heel slips and then you are falling. He fell, then he floated, cast a spell. What would float be? <laughs> oh dear, cast a spell. Or do we pray? Do <laughs> we just pray on our way down? He fell, then he floated. What have we got in the middle? should look on the book on the right. Right, there, right, fox. Ah, oh, fox! Cast a spell. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no, there's no f there's no k there's no X, lads. There's no X. We might have just we might 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 die, lads. 
an O. No X, though. Bob, maybe? Some snazzy threads. Maybe fog, I saw. Wall? He won't see the ground come in if he's foggy. Wall is just a shield. I suppose it might show you, you shield you from the ground. Yeah, there's no, I've got no, no book or anything. This says fox up there. Maybe we just pray? Is that like fall? Like ah? La? Fur? Oh, oh! Yes! Fast. The remaining moments you cast the spell as soon as you finish it, your fall slows as though a hand has cupped you and is lowering you to the earth. You come to a rest without incident on the grass. So I'm presuming don't like don't go off the ledge. Oh no, sorry. Now you are in trouble. Halfway up and halfway down, you're in the ledge, in a, an arm span wide with a drop down to the beating sea. There is no way back up. You have no choice but to follow the ledge and see where it ends. There is only one thing of note here: a glyph painted on the wall in light brown paint. You peer at it. The color is old and faded, but it appears to be a P. You follow the ledge carefully around, hoping to find some way forwards. A few yards later, you are spoilt by choice. There is not one cave mouth ahead of you, but two. Maybe I should, like, cast a spell, like, to, so it would tell me? Perhaps magic can aid you? Like, P. Oh, it's just, it, that's why it starts with P, Jake. It's actually poop. Alright, there's no P. Alright. Let's just, uh. I have to cut. Oh dear. I have to cast a spell. Okay. I've decided. Oh, dried blood. Oh, right, okay. Makes sense. I don't know what I should cast. I want to know which way, like, uh, maybe there's way? You can turn a page to travel back in time. How do I do that? Oh, spell book. I see spell book. There we go. Hold it. That wasn't what I meant to do. 48 spells. There we go. Stamina, walk. Any locked door? Sus! Maybe. Ah! Oh, let's go with sus! Let's go with sus. Let's say, let's call sus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna count. Uh, like, as if there's a trap down one of them. Right. Sus. You cast a spell, and a feeling of deep dread settles over you. This place, says the voice in your mind, has one purpose, and that purpose is to be out your undoing. And with that, a slight, slightly cackle of laughter, the voice disappears, and you are once more on your own. A smell of salt breeze emerges Whoa, from the left that's cave. That's interesting, but I sure don't care. <laughs> Gollux, thank you very much. No quote will cry. Uh, so, uh, so breeze from the left hand cave. Let's go. You peer into the darkness of the left hand cave. It seems to slope a little way downwards into the darkness. The smell coming from it is salty and fresh. Perhaps it leads to the sea, or perhaps it drops into a flooded pool. By the cave mouth is a low boulder. A light whistling of wind comes from the right hand cave mouth. Oh, examine the boulder. Let's go. Just, I just wanted a, I wanted a, oh, roll the boulder, yeah. Roll the boulder. The boulder looks too heavy and you can probably roll over it, but which way? Uh. 
moss free side upwards. You heave the boulder over until the moss free side is uppermost. It takes some strength to do. If this is achieved anything, it's not clear what. Roll it again. Aha! You heave the boulder over until the moss free side is downwards. It takes some effort, but then you notice that the face of what is now the uppermost has, has some small indentations in it. The wind blows a little dust into the right hand cave. Examine the markings. You clear away the moss until you see a few lines of a poem. Two ways in, this cliff is cleft. Of guidance is our wizard breath. One leads to safety, the other to death. When left, when left with what's right is what right, what is left. Ah. Let's, can we, should we have a look at the right hand cave? Might as well have a look. Looking into the right hand cave, you see a little, except a faint and distant glow. A small rodent scurries out of the left hand cave and away into the grass. Two ways in, this cliff is, this cliff is cleft. Of guidance is our wizard's breath. One leads to safety, the other to death. When left with what is right, is right what is left. Surely I should go left, right? Rise of Goblin Tooth. How? Right. Ooh, now you must pay the your ultimate price. price. Gullick, thank you very much. I was a fool. I was! This seems like the kind of game you would play, Gullick, as well. You cast out the spell and you feel power entering your mind. The feeling across the rock surface in front of you, after a while it settles in the left hand cavern and then it's gone you're alone once more i thought it was the left right let's go left and there is no way back you have to pick one of them left cave. you enter the left hand cave moving slowly you let your eyes adjust to the dark a few steps in your fingers running across the wall you feel the shape of a symbol carved into the rock I cage her right now. Yeah, I'm hoping I bought lots of food is not gonna be too much of a problem. But I am a little bit we are taking a little bit long. You pause to examine the scratch mark on the wall, it seems to be the letter O. The cave continues into the hillside, then turns down into a slope. The walls grow narrower on either side. You are squeezing yourself deeper and deeper into the ancient heart of Dadule, with no certainty that you'll ever reemerge. There is a, then an opening appears, and with a gust of wind, a hint of of a strange green light. You squeeze through a narrow opening into a wider tunnel. Nice! Made it to the sea. The inside of this cave is lined with bright fluorescent streaks from some strange mineral in the wall. It grows a gri glows a grisly green color, forming characters and slash marks. Without them, you would be lost in the dark, and then you see a patch of sunshine up ahead. You pause a moment to look at the scenes in the rock. Their pattern does not seem random, but more like characters in some language you don't recognize, as if someone had written a message into the very rock itself. But if so, it is a message you cannot understand. You move towards the light, almost tripping over your feet in the dark, until you find yourself in a low chamber. Despite being closed off and sheltered from the wind, it is well lit by the sunlight streaming in. Through the narrow cave mouth, you see sand stretching down to the shoreline. Right, come again. Looking closely at the walls here, you see a small pouch, a patch, <laughs> a small pouch, of the fluorescent seam. But in the bright sunshine, it glows. A uh, glow is lost, and it is just a dark, glassy mark. Directly below is a small flat stone. You lift the stone, and underneath, you see an inscription in the same hand as the others you have seen. This is the place where the sorceress saw something all the others would simply ignore. It spoke to a darkness inside that he bore, so he stopped and he gloomed and made light come once more. You replace the stone, the noise of the waves echoed around the narrow chamber. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was thinking about a light spell. Might do something. Hot. Zap. Blast of lightning. Might be a bit extra. Uh, force field, law. Yeah, it's probably L-I-T. Right. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, there's no lip. Sun. Dim. Or. I'll try cast this spell. I'll eat something. Let's just go with lit. Let's try it. Let's see if we can do anything with it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Oh, we got no L. We got no L. Never mind then. I can't choose a spell now. Let me go back. <laughs> I just want to go back once. There we go. Let's examine the walls. With that, examine the walls. It's the stone. Thief cave. You head outside, blinking into the sunlight through the narrow cave mouth, and move onto the shore of the Kakabad Sea. There can only be 17,576 different spells, most of which are called ones. I suppose W we could have, like, wit? No, that would be awesome. Should we eat something? One for the ladies. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. One for the ladies. Now, what the ladies like, they like long walks on the beach. You walk out, from the uh, out onto the sand to find you are not alone. A small sailboat is pulled up in the shallows, and beside it, a woman sits on a. Oh, you knew that you knew the ladies were coming, Willocks. On a low stool with a strange flat loom in her lap, she is weaving a long belt of tightly woven, brightly coloured cloth. Watch her work. You hang back, watching her as she weaves. The work is swift but careful, with the strands of each colour appearing to diverge before being brought back in a knot and knotted together. Threads disappear from the pattern, then explode into life further along. The object she is making is no wider than a belt, but seems extremely long. Suddenly she stops and looks up. She has seen you. Greetings, she declares. It has been a long time since I have had a visitor. Greetings. Greetings, you say, nodding your, your head to her. Who are you? Who are you, you ask. I have many names and faces, she smiles. But you, you have only one. Who are you? The woman watches you with great patience. I am an adventure from Anal Land. She nods, not yet, she answers simply. The adventure still lies ahead. Briefly, she glances down at her weaving, as if she could read the future in the thread. Oh, she's, she's, okay, she's knitting fate. fate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, Rook's right. We've just met Knuckles, actually. What are you doing here, you ask. I am weaving, she says, and waiting. What are you waiting for? I am waiting, she replies, to ask a question. Are you ready now to answer it? Yeah, right. Yes, you reply. Ask me your question. It is a simple matter. She holds up two strands at the end of the belt she was weaving. They have diverged at just one moment she ceased. At just the moment she ceased her work. It's about you. When time comes to risk yourself for another for no gain of your own, which would you rather choose? The way of danger or the way of the coward? I have looked, but can't decide. It would depend who it was. <laughs> it it depends. It depends who it was. I'll answer. The way of danger. The way of danger. I wish to live and enjoy all the thrills of living. She claps her hands. Wonderful. The woman gathers up her looms under one arm and steps back into her boat. You have everything you need, she declares. Now you must simply leave this place and return to where you should be. The land of Daddy Lay is not meant to be lived in. Take me to care on your boat. The woman frowns, then laughs. I am not going to care, she says. Where I am going, care is dust and ruin. Its stones have turned to powder and its people to distant songs. I do not visit very often. 
She then reaches up to her head and pulls out a single golden strand of hair, which she gives you. Ooh, it smells nice. You will need this for your spell of returning. Then, with a breath, breathed word, <laughs> boat creeps out into the waves and <laughs> sails. Phil and her song is lost in the wind. Oh, so now you are trapped, or are you? Examine the hair. The hair is just a single strand, as long as your arm, and so fine and golden, it is almost invisible against the waves. The wind threatens to snatch it from you. The waves lap gently at the shore, but you are not fooled. The tide is rising. Perhaps this, there is a spell that will save you from this place, but as you prepare your mind, you will already sense that the stars here are not here are most strangely aligned. Spell of returning. I'm not not a coward. I don't know what you mean. I I bravely ran away. Um. Requires nose plugs. Oh, is this a puzzle? Maybe I use Z? Try some letters at random, alright. Why well, no dab spell? I bet you, Felix. I bet there's a dab spell. Unknown cost. You attempt to raise a spell that does not exist and you suffer the harsh consequences of the magic collapses around you. The wind finally gets better, the better of your grip and the long hair is whipped away from your grasp and away and with it the magic leaves you. You sit by the water's edge. Shit. What is my fate? You drowned. Ah, <laughs> Galax, I just drowned! <laughs> Ripperoni, pepperoni! Darth, welcome back. Call after her. Help me, you call. Don't leave me. The hair between your fingers tugs and quivers as if trying to leap away in the wind. It tells you to be swift and take action before it's too late. Cast a spell. Right, let's try again. Sonic's doing our horoscope. Sonic's casting some spells now. Uh, top. Top, because I want to be at the top. You weave the spell, although you cannot be certain what it will do, even if it is a spell. But then the golden strand of hair begins to shine and glow. You stand back to watch as it becomes thick and your arm, uh, thick as your arm, and grows tall, burying down in the sand and soaring up to the sky. Grab hold. Quickly, you grab hold of the towering strand and it whisks you away upwards at speed. Within heartbeats, you are near the top of the cliff once more and jump down onto the earth. Right. I was right, yeah. The golden tower disappears, shrinking away out of sight. But as, it fa as it fades, the wind strums and it begins to sing. You can only just catch the words. In a long, empty mine room. In a long, empty mine roams a terrible beast, whose slaying it will be your duty in time. But should you meet early in the mines to the west, creep inward and burn him. Remember this rhyme. Perhaps you will discover what it means, but now it is time to go. Your journey awaits. Coming down to a low rise, you hear voices ahead and the crackle of fire. You crouch down in the low grass and listen. There are two voices, gruff and crude. I hear it's today or the next day, says one. They've given out 50 gold pieces, I hear. 
A.Z. Perkins. The other replies, two of us and only one of her, enough to buy a boat. You listen a moment longer. I will have plenty to eat. Both men laugh. There's a rustling. The men are getting to their feet. They're coming this way. Stay hidden. You stay low. There is a tense moment as the two bandits walk within an arm's length, but they are too busy laughing at their joke, and they do not notice you. Crouched low by the rock, rocky outcrop of their camp, but soon they are gone downwards towards the path from Kantupani. You get back to your feet and brush yourself down. Yeah, all free stuff. Take the opportunity to go around the rock to the campsite. The fire has been kicked out, but they have left a billy can behind containing a few warm beans. Eat them. Wolfishly, you bolt down the beans. They are thick and foul-tasting, but the meal feels good in your belly. Then you hurry on and make your way back down the path a little way beyond where the bandits are standing. About half an hour later, you reach the start of a climb onto the hills proper and continue upwards. We're going to be gassy. That's free beans. That's, that's them some free beans. All right. Climbing under the hills. <laughs> Not gonna say no to some free beans. Leaving Cantapani behind marks the true start of the wilderness. Beyond that tiny outpost, there are scattered homesteads and care, a thriving city port. But all are touched by cruelty, isolation, and fear. The backlands and the long shadow cast by Mampang Fortress darken everything. And with the crown stolen, things can only grow worse. In the long years since Kalana, Kalana, the reformer, found the alliance, the crown has been passed from kingdom to kingdom every four years, ensuring that each one has its turn to lead. But no more. Ruddlestone, Lenland, Galanteria, and Bryce have all enjoyed its power, but not Analand. They didn't want to give. They didn't want to give us the crown. Like God knows why. They didn't want to be ruled by bloody anal land but when the crown came to anal land it was stolen by birdmen from zanmen and carried off to mampeng with the crown the archmage will be unstoppably powerful there is no chance of sending an army against him a military force would not survive the journey so here you are a lone adventurer walking the path of mampeng alone five minutes later you reach a fork in the road the sergeant for all his eyesight hadn't mentioned this a fork in the road. Well, we could we go that way, right? I mean, I'd rather not go through the fucking mines, personally. Or the forest. The road splits around the base of a gigantic tree, but does not rejoin up on the other side. The left path winds down into a valley and the right rises into a slope and towards the first thick forest of the hills. It is hard to see much further uphill. The forest is sudden and thick and its path is narrow. It may be hard going in that direction, but the hills will involve a lot of climbing, and eventually you may get a decent view of the next leg from the top of the ridge. You pause to consider the lower route. There is a river there, and the path follows the left bank. It is a safer route, secluded and protected, the curve of the landscape would mean you were almost backtracking. You are about to make a choice when you hear a faint cry from somewhere close at hand. You look around, finally up into the branches of the tree. A pair of wizened, clawless feet are dangling down over your head, about to drop on you, perhaps? Climb up. You swing yourself up into the lowest branch of the tree, and the owner of the feet shrieks in alarm. You see an old man, dressed in rags, as thin of a bone. Oi! He calls, trying to retreat along a branch. What do you want? A few branches above him, you notice a buzzling, buzzing beehive. What are you hiding from? How the old man got up in the tree is a puzzle. He must have been high, been escaping from some fearsome, something, someone fearsome to climb so high. What are you hiding from? You cry. Damn elvins, he replies. I were traveling from Dumpus to the outpost settlement in Anilan. But I were waylaid by elvins, robbed me blind, and took out all but took me eyes. And left me up in the tree. I keep getting older, you see. We all do. But some worse than others climbed up, and now I'm too old to get down. Help him out the tree. You reach up and grab the old man by the waist. Ooh. Silver Fox, he is light as a leaf, and within a moment you have lifted him to the ground. Thank that, he remarks, brushing himself down and almost knocking himself over in the process. I was just starting to get a bit, you know, 
Perturbed. But I'm in the safe now. He seems remarkably confident considering the slightest stumble might break him to bits. What will you do now? Keep going for Anorland, he says. That's where I set off from. A while back now. You wouldn't believe the story if I told you. Suffice to say, though. I know me eyes from me eyes. If you're heading out to Mampang, you better be smarter than I was. And here, he pressed, pressed a page into your hand. It's a page torn from a spell book. This might be of some use to you. I found it. Just found it, mine. Don't go asking now. But it's no good to me anymore. Look at the page. You look at the page suspiciously, as it seems to be half of a spell. C.A. That might have been used for pest repulsion, but it's unworkable in its current state. I'll keep it. You take the page and thank him. I don't want to. I don't want to be bothering a beehive. Let's leave and move on. No cat bigolics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You must move on. The light is fading already. As the old man dashes off downhill towards Cantopani, at a terrific pace, you consider your options. I'd like to cast a spell. Um, I think going not in the forest at night is a good idea. You head into the valley. It seems to be the safest route, secluded, without providing an opportunity for an ambush. No matter how quickly darkness falls, the riverbank will guide your way. The path winds alongside a bubbling stream. You follow it, keeping to the west bank. The valley itself becomes narrower on either hand. A good spot for an ambush. You can only hope that no one knows you are here. After an hour's walk, you begin to feel a little hungry once more. You might be wise to save your provisions. I'm not that. You press onwards. No beeswax for your spells, that's true. Maybe I should have taken some. The valley continues and you walk for many hours until the sun begins to set behind the bank and the air grows cool. Now would be a good time to find a pitch of camp if you intend to sleep before darkness descends completely. But the moon will rise soon. Soon enough and you could walk through the night. Somewhere beyond this, the valley, there are villages with real beds. I think we keep walking. We've still good stamina. We're doing all right. There is much progress to be made in return for a little determination. You keep walking. You will be weaker for it tomorrow, of course. Still, you make good progress and cover considerable ground. As you walk, you think of the crown. It calls you onwards already, even though you have never seen it, as if it knows your name and is waiting for you deep in the fortress of Mampeng. But does it summon you to rescue it and restore balance of power to the Fem Free Alliance, or does it summon you to your death and destruction? To place a seal on the power of the Archmage. I like how the fuck gets <laughs> Yeah. The morning air is cool and good for walking. You feel the presence of your spirit, the monkey, close by. Its form has changed since you left an anal land, just as you have changed, but it is still walking beside you. In the temple, they taught you that a prayer to your spirit could heal disease, lift curses, and even save you from certain death. But the spirits are not generous, and if you decline to help often, you can ask the spirits help. Okay, I'm cool. The morning brings you new vigor, and you stride forward. After a few hours, you come across a rope bridge strung precariously between two boulders and spanning the river. A path leads you away from it, and the other side runs over a small. Um, where are we headed? Yeah. I mean, the left way seems the most direct way, right? I mean, let's go over the road bridge. You cross the bridge quickly, then follow up the path to the other hill where you stop and marvel. The grassy verge is thick with colour and one of the most beautiful flowers you've ever seen. Pick one. You pluck one a deep red colour and place it carefully inside the top of your pack. Then you make your way down the hillside. I did, I had my, my cooling migraine. Eat some provisions? I don't need I don't need some provisions. I'm good. You, this place is too open, you walk through the long grass. <laughs> Gotta pray to our Lord and Saviour Sonic. You continue along the trail, the undergrowth around gets thicker with dense shrubs that snag your legs as you pass. Suddenly there's a cracking sound beneath your feet. Branches or something else? Jump clear, right? 
You leap ahead just in time as the pitfall caves beneath you. You look back to see a gaping hole where you would have fallen into. You pause to look at the pit. It is three meters deep. Three meters deep, quite a trap, but then again, so is the one moving underneath your feet right now. There is the gentlest of clicks. Jump again. Jump to it. You jump forwards as three saplings snap right in front, upright in front of you. Each is fitted with sharp stakes. You have but a moment to see that they are red with dried blood before you jump. I think your head. I don't. <laughs> right, that was good. That was a good one. <laughs> I think that went very well. I think that went very well. It was actually a lot better than I expected. A little bit, um, a little bit more reedy than I thought it was going to be. I mean, was... I liked it though. I didn't dis. I didn't dislike that game. I didn't dislike it. I don't know whether we'll come back to sorcery. Um. There's a hard mode where you can't turn the pages back. Good thing you. Ugh. Yeah, it was a three game Tuesday. And we finished every single one of them. Yeah, I don't know whether we'll come back to Sorcery um, because I can already feel that my throat hurts. It's so much reading. Uh, the music was nice, though, wasn't it? I like the calming music. So next Tuesday, who knows what we're doing? It was fun to watch the. Yeah, Darth, Darth, you got a nice, um, you got a nice, uh, what is it, like an audiobook. I don't know whether I really have the voice for an audiobook, though, so I don't know how nice it is to listen to be reading stuff. Um, Wizard of Fire, Top Mountain, is it similar, Jane? Nice ice cold shower due to use error. Wrong lever, Krog! <laughs> but tomorrow we are more tot. We'll be back for cars on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure, so we're definitely back with cars on Tuesday. Now Wednesday we'll be playing Elder Scrolls, and Friday we're going to be playing Mario 64. And dear God, I hope that doesn't make me feel sick. It's based on Steve Jackson, choose your own adventure. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll have a think about it. I'll see. Um, I'll see. I'll see. Um, how I feel about maybe carrying on with something like this because I didn't dislike it. I quite like um, you know, I like the the reading those. Thank you very much. I will not even thank you. I will check. I will check with him. I'll see. I'll see. I'll see how we feel. I'll see how the stream did. See how. See you know. You know. Okay. Okay. I I am about to leave. I am. You just you just called the end. It's lovely to see you. I hope you're having a lovely week. I hope you're having a lovely time. You have a lovely Tuesday. Lovely Tuesday. Right, lads. Um. I will. I'm. I think I'm just gonna. I'm gonna let you out. I'm just gonna let you out. Out into the open. Out, you know, free range. Completely <laughs> free range. I'm gonna go take a nap. Um, a, a lozenge, a lozenge for my throat. And uh, have a nice relaxing end of my day. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for bearing with all of the all of the wacky wacky problems that we had today. And I hope I wasn't too bad all in all. Thank you very much, Les. I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. Thank you very much for being here. I'll leave you with the nice calming music.